Well, hello again there, nerds. Welcome back. Can we get some ones in chat for the number one community on YouTube? That's y'all. Thank you very much for tuning in. It's been a while since I played this game. Transport Fever 2. That is awesome, dude. Uh, that game, by the way, has been out for a year, and I think it's new on uh, the Mac now. I think it's out on Mac. So there's a bunch of new updates, a bunch of new content, meaning that they've like uh, you know polished things over the last year since I played it. When I played it last time, I mostly played the campaign, and it was before the game came out, so I played like a pre-release version. So I want to go back and play some missions that I thought were uh, outstanding, missions that were really, really cool from the game. It takes place from like uh, the mid uh, 1800s to like uh, I think uh, like 20, like. 2010 or something like that or maybe even into the future uh for the campaign the campaign is stellar man absolutely stellar campaign and let me check steam real quick if you want to get this game transport fever is on sale i think for 30 percent off let me just check real quick it is on sale for 26 dollars, which is a pretty fair price for a game that has tons and tons of campaign missions tons of mods that you can download as well as um like a modified campaign. No multiplayer, unfortunately, but maybe sometime in the future. Game came out December 11th of 2019, so just over a year old, and has very positive reviews. Not bad. Not to mention it has a ton of real-world uh, vehicles in it, and I think it's awesome. Really awesome. In fact, you know what? I'm, I'm on the Steam page right now. I want to I watch the trailer. Let's, let's watch the trailer, and then I'm going to pick some missions that I thought were the most fun from the campaign. So one of the missions that I thought was the coolest is there's a... Um, uh, like a mission in Canada where they're working with oil sands outside of Alberta. And so you get to go, I don't know what year it takes place, let's say the 80s or 90s, and it's pretty neat. That is really weird that it's choosing that monitor. Well, don't don't be afraid to say hi to yourself over there. Uh, let me see if I can bring this up on a different monitor. Bum, 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 bum. You were just watching this yesterday. What a coincidence that I'm playing. Oh, dude, uh, Transport Fever is so good, Amber. Make sure you get it for yourself. It's a good one. Really good stuff. Okay, so here's what we got. Uh, we got ourselves a uh, a trailer for Transport Fever 2. It just got me excited to see it. So let's watch a quick trailer, then we'll jump in and play the Canadian mission. And I'm totally open to all your other suggestions, too. Whoa, thanks, guys, for smashing like as well. That's crazy. Thank you very much for the support and uh don't forget to become a member today is the day you guys got to become a member because we're doing giveaways and stuff until the end of the year i've been dropping keys for all sorts of games on the discord for members and non-members members get a little extra chance to win i give them a few more extra keys but uh yeah smash that join button down there links also pinned to the top links also in the chat so uh, make sure you do it don't miss out anymore on those giveaways and extra free perks and stuff once you become a member all right let's watch this trailer and then we'll jump right into it. Wow, that is well, that looks that was like the lowest quality ever. Oh, dude, I'm excited. Oh, sound is probably important, isn't it? There we go. Oh, I forgot you can use fairies and stuff in this game too. I just love the modern campaign so much. It really feels like City Skylines in this game, too. It, it it feels like a heavily modified City Skylines. That's how good it is. And I haven't played this in about a year, so I'm quite rusty. So it'll take me a little bit to figure it out. This game came out last year. Just about a year old now. Or just over a year. Damn, that is some cool stuff. Not to mention there is just an incredible amount of mods for this game, too. I would say, for myself, the modern era in this game really, like, shines once you get diesel locomotives. Like, everything maybe, like, 1950 or 60 on feels modern. Because then you start to get build, you get to build more modern, um, like, nations and stuff. Like, there's a mission where you have to build a hydroelectric dam in China. You have to build the Shinkansen line, the high-speed rail line in Japan. And uh, you have to start building international airports and some islands and stuff and connecting them to the to the real world. <laughs> yeah, this game has a lot of cool trailers to it. Let's see how many other... Yeah, so if you need any more video proof, there's like two or three extra videos out there. Well, it looks like it's kind of the same stuff, but uh, still pretty good. Uh, the other good mission that I remember is there's also a mission where you go to Germany and uh, start working on the, the train line, the Intercity Express. That's a pretty cool one. And then, um, 
let me see what other missions there are. Let's see. I kind of forgot what I did in the, uh, the world campaigns here. Closer together. China between the Ma present you... and the future. The metropolis of Shanghai is growing and growing uh, okay. and growing. The challenges associated with this. So there's Japan. Manifold. Okay, so chapter Just three like takes place between 2010 and 2030. And so it goes into the future, I think. Thriving. Or no, no, no. It Dawn starts in 1960. So Japan. Uh, I think this is Hungary. The uh, Sunshine State as the Oh, this is the coast of Florida during like uh, the smuggling in the 80s. Western Germany uh, after yep, West Germany, Canada at the start of the new Alberta world. up there, 1998 the to 2018, and then uh, Shanghai. The cool. The right, I think I want to do... Uh, man, why is there so much voice acting? Jeez, give me a break. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to narrate. Well, let's see if we can turn that off for now. Apply a volume, it has to like redo the... Whoa, what the hell? Do you want to keep resolution? What? Game, I I turned the I turned the volume down. I didn't adjust anything to do with the monitor size. What the hell? <laughs> Lol. Okay, we're good. We should be good. Because the Earl the world ends in 2030. Yeah, that's that's exactly it. Alright, we should be fine now. Okay, so um so chapter one starts in 1865 in like Western United States, goes all the way up to like Baghdad in 1904. Dude, I love these missions so much. What are some of the cool ones in chapter two? Oh yeah, there's a couple that take place in World War II. Like you, it's really interesting. You have to build a rail line in Switzerland in World War II. So supplies are really scarce and the Germans want you to give them supplies. They're like putting a lot of political pressure on you. Uh, there's the 20s. And then there's the Howard Hughes era, 34 to 54. And then there's building a hydroelectric dam in China, 1949 to 59. That one's cool. I, I would even consider that one to be modern because you're building a gigantic hydroelectric dam. That one's cool too. I think we'll come back and do that China dam one. I really hope they do another transport fever with... Uh, I really want another transport fever multiplayer. One's in chat if we need more multiplayer building games like City Skylines, but multiplayer. Transport Fever, but multiplayer. Parkitect, but... Mu oh yeah, that's right. Parkitect is multiplayer. Very cool. Uh, you consider this a strategy management game? Yeah, that's a good way to put it. it it's Tycoon, I guess, is like the official, you know, like roller coaster Tycoon, rail Railroad Tycoon. I will be honest, though. Railroad Tycoon 3 is probably like the other great... Like, it, this. these are both like just neck and neck of just like the greatest the greatest games ever made like seriously they're so so fun all right well let's get started in um where where is this oil sands so we got to go to Va vancouver in 1998 to 2018 so i'm going to turn back on the voice acting and let's get cracking i'm going to try just like one mission at a time and i'm really rusty at this game i haven't played this in a year so uh, i'm going to be really bad but cool thing is at least we have auto save so if i go bankrupt we're good to go all right, let's jump in. The world is shifting. China Wait, let's listen to what she has to say. Mankind is constantly the world is shifting closer together. The volume of passengers is exploding. The global flows of goods are multiplying. Meet the logistical challenges before and after the turn of the millennium. China between Canada at the start of the new millennium. Canada, but the sleepy province of Alberta sees its chance. The crude oil shortage is making it lucrative to mine tar sands for oil. In the wild western forests, corporate groups prepare themselves for tomorrow's business. In their wake, all the hangers-on are coming, who sought their fortunes elsewhere in vain, and now hope to strike it rich. A modern gold rush. Uh, what's going on, moderators, of timing out the ones? They were told to spam ones. What's going on? Okay, so let's start with uh, this mission. Big O truck, big O trailer. We actually get to transport some stuff with these uh, vehicles. Giant, uh, what, what are the names of these things? Like the Caterpillar, they have like a specific designation. They're like literally the size of like a, 
like a apartment building. Aren't these vehicles electric too? I don't think these are diesel, aren't they? Are these all electric? Like each wheel has an electric motor? The whole world craves oil. Good. Profits good. A gigantic industrial project is supposed to satisfy that appetite. Oh, I see. Okay, we'll do we'll do anti Billy mode standby. You're on site managing the fortunes of a local company with the goal of constantly improving everything. Oh, diesel electric. Okay, cool. In the cool. process, you bear a major responsibility for human beings and the environment. And for the well-being of the Canadian economy. One of the largest deposits of oil on the entire planet lies dormant beneath Alberta's coniferous forests. Why did I start with $200 million? The is stored in the ground as a sticky mixture of tar and sand called bitumen. It has to be extracted first via strip mining and then processed into synthetic crude oil. Until recently, this was much too expensive. But dwindling oil reserves worldwide and rising prices are suddenly making the process profitable. Your company is going to invest in the future of energy here and in the future of countless people. Deliver the necessary equipment and get everything ready to mine the tar sands for oil. Ah, there they are. Ah, there you go. Some of the big O vehicles. Sweet. So those are electric uh, diesel hybrids. Cool. Really neat. Okay. So been a while boys but I think we will be able to do it so we need to deliver 30 machines and uproot, uproot 13 17 trees so that's something to do with terraforming and machines are where these things in Edmonton there's a machines factory there so machines require oh no they're just producing machines so we don't actually have to import anything there we do have to ship it here. Okay, so we need to ship machines across the river to three locations on this side of the river. Cool. Bum, 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 bum. All right, let's get started. We're going to try to do this like as... Um, we're going to make things try to look nice. And I think if we go with a faster highway, we can actually... If we build a highway, we can go faster so logistics can get there quickly. So like uh, country roads, take them home. Large country road has a hundred kilometer limit. So let's see how large that looks. So I guess we're gonna build a Canadian highway now, bud. So we could go to Fort McMurray and then have them cross the bridge, but that's gonna take extra time. So I think we should build a bridge here. Is Booster in chat? Hi there, Booster. How you doing, man? Good to see you here. Thanks for the support. Okay, I want to build a bridge here, I think. So we're going to build like a highway, I guess. Oh, wait. I need to change the materials. So this will be the Timmy's Highway. Can make it out of concrete. What's the speed limit on that if we change that? Probably will look the best with concrete. Is there a way to move the um, support beam so it doesn't look weird? Maybe that'll be a, a mod or something. Okay, let's build a bridge here. Wow, that's one million dollars out of the 200 million we have. Holy crap, well. That's going to be an important bridge, though. It's the only other way across the river aside from uh, going back to Fort McMurray. Hi from Perth, Australia? Hi there. How are things going? Welcome. So Amber Amber in chat was saying that she was watching the uh, Transport Fever series just before I started playing it. I just had the idea, like, I wanted to come back and play this. How do I make, like, nice curved roads? Is there a way to, like, make a nice curved road? Is there a way to make these roads bend? I don't remember. Oh, wait. Here they are. Is that a way to make, like, a bendy road? Ah, 
I love this game too, by the way, because before you actually put down a road, you get an option to like confirm or delete, and you can also adjust like the elevation. So if you want to make a tunnel in the middle of nowhere for whatever reason, you can actually you can just do it. You can just do it, do it. Yo, Jerry, what's up, man? Welcome to the big stream. We're probably gonna have to transport. Uh, oh, that's right. I remember at some point we have to bring some of that oil over here to make plastic. So we definitely need to make a good. Uh, we definitely need to make a highway over here. Very expensive. Yeah, I know these highways are gonna be spendy. I just can't remember how to make like a nice curved road. I like kind of forgot how to play. Like I said, it's been a while, so I just forgot. Oh wait, here's here's highways. Oh, these are one lane. Well, we don't need to do that. It's gonna be kind of more of a country road, I guess, to start with. Oh, cool. There's prefab roundabouts and stuff. All right, that's good stuff. Uh. Okay, I don't want one-way stuff. So let's grab regular roads. So back to county roads then. Yeah, that's what we want—a two-way county road. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, if I move the camera, this game kind of is weird with OBS. Like on my screen, it's completely smooth. You might see like a little jittering, but um, like that's the only other way for me to to capture this game. Hold on, let me try something else. We could try in-game mode. Let's see if that fixes it. Because when I first played this, there was a really weird thing with the camera. Oh, is, is that better? Does that work better for you guys? Okay, there you go. Okay, let's get back to uh, building an actual road now. Okay, so we want curved roads. So there's an option there to make the roads curved. Ah, there we go, boys. Hey, big brains. Let's get big brains in chat. Let's get those big brain emotes going. Okay, this will be cool. Then we can make little roads that go off to either side. So let's make the highway end here. Something like uh, like this. Nice. And it's as smooth as an egg. Look at that. Oh, Canada. Oh, that's close enough. Then we'll build some medium country roads to go back and forth here. Oh, let's make a roundabout at the end. Because we're going to have a lot of trucks coming through here, so... Oh, we can actually make it bigger with a slider. Oh, dude, this game is... This game is class. However, how do I build it? Oh, that might be... That might be better. So if we build it here... Oh, number of lanes. We'll make a roundabout here. We're going to have a lot of traffic coming out of here, so we need to make sure this is set up right. Okay, nice. I think my favorite thing to do in this game is setting up planes and trains, but uh, v road vehicles are just as fun too. It's like, it's hard to like pick, you know. I wonder if there's a way I can make this go into one road. Yeah, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, in Canada they don't call them roundabouts; they call them roundaboots. Thank you, chat, for correcting me on that. <laughs> Joke alert. All right, let's do this. I, I kind of, usually when I play these campaigns, I, I rush through them the first time because I have no idea what I'm doing. Like, I don't know what's going to be next, so I'm really afraid of spending money. But now that I know these campaigns a bit more, uh, these are just totally fun to just, like, make your roads look good. Like, one in chat, if, when you play these uh, building games, not only is, not only is uh, making money important, but also making things look good. You're in Toronto? Well, we're, we're nearby, bud. We're over here in Alberta. and not, not not so close, but at least we're in the same country. It's not like we're on top of each other. Okay, so we need to deliver... I don't think we can actually dr drive on these roads, so how do we deliver them? Deliver machines to the pits. And clear... We need to clear trees for extraction of the oil. Yeah, we're going to try to make uh, our thing look as good as possible. Okay, so we want to get over to these pits somehow, so let's make a road that swings. Okay, there we go. So far, so good. And so good so far. So we need to clear 13, 17 trees. I guess we can unpause now to see what happens.
prohibited area. How do I like clear trees? Trees to uproot, 1317. Oh wait. Uh, use the eraser tool from the menu to remove trees. Eraser tool? Isn't this the same thing? The, that, that's a pretty good eraser, the bulldozer. Oh, they mean here. Oh. Oh, this, this is what they want us to do. And remove it from this blue area. Oh, okay. I got it. We got it. Ladies and gentlemen, big brains. Oh, so they want us to connect here. Okay, so we got to connect to each of these little factories, but we can't go into the blue area and we can't go to where the trucks are. All right, makes sense. Let's make the brush a little bigger then. A lot bigger. Okay, we'll make it all the big. Big o crazy. Yo, what's up, Devin? Good to see you in chat, man. Okay, that might be too many trees, but this is a construction area, so... Okay, we at least removed tree of the trees. Trying to have minimal impact on the environment, but, you know, also need profits because corporation need money. Yeah, there's two trees apparently that are in the wrong spot. There we go. Okay, the trees are clear. So now we can start connecting to these little factories here. Oh wait, actually, we can only connect to one of them, this one. Alright. So we'll make our highway... Well, this is really good because we might be able to swing the county road along the coast. And then we can go into Fort McMurray if we need to. So that's cool. Bum, 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 bum. Hash, hashtag team trees. Sorry, Mr. Beast. Not today. This is probably before he was born. It's 98. Yeah, he was born tomorrow. Okay, let's go with the medium... Medium country road. Something like that. Alright, cool. Now we got to start a trucking company. So we're going to need to be able to haul uh, 30 machines from there to here. Not too far, but there you go. Okay, I've forgotten how to make all that stuff. So I know we need a vehicle depot. But I've forgotten how to do that. Vehicle manager. Nope. Oh, buildings. Okay, I got it. Oh, we also need a, st a truck stop to go pick this stuff up from. So we'll need to b make a big old depot here. Is there a rotate button? Uh, there's a button to rotate this stuff. Yeah, this is the time before trees were invented. That is correct. Dude, there's so many more missions for this. I, I absolutely love this. I like this game so much. I, I would give it a big blue thumbs up if I could every day. And I'm glad I'm coming back a year later. Oh, it's N or M. Okay, thank you. Isn't there a way to make it more precise, too? Like, isn't there a way where you can, like, hold control to make it even more... Isn't there a button to, to make it even more precise when you do that? Hold shift when you do it? Oh, there you go. Cool. Chat with the big brains. Thank you, chat. Okay, well, we'll build our vehicle truck depot next to it. Although, what if we make it, like perpendicular and then we can smooth out some of the territory nearby we'll build our truck depot nearby too so let's build a truck depot now or I guess road depot but this will be our trucking company we'll name it after a famous Canadian Colonel Sanders that's right he went on to make a restaurant called Tim Hortons that is, that is correct, chat. Yes. Not too bad. We'll put some trees down. There we go. 
Usually I just rush through these campaigns, but sometimes you really gotta, like, take it all in and make things look nice, you know? Maybe I've been playing too much uh, Park Architect. Ba -ba -ba. There we go. Okay, so now we gotta make another truck depot at the delivery site. You don't need to build these truck stations, but I like these better than the truck onload stops because there's a way for trucks to actually pull in. Oh, I forgot. You can actually make the platforms even longer if you need to. So this is where we have to deliver these, huh? Unless we have to deliver to each one. Oh, I think it's 10 per pit, actually. So we might need to make a road that goes around here, but we'll start with this one first. Because this one did have a road connected to it. But I think, yeah, I think we need to deliver 10 to each site. But eventually we'll have to have stuff going to each one of these anyway. Let's see how close we can build. Yeah, I think one of the hardest missions in this game is the the German one. Because uh, there's so much you have to do with the train line. You have to build them, then delete them, then modify them, then build them again. It kind of shows that the Germans were like building their... Um, like they were... Their, they were super efficient about how they built their railroads so they would expand them then build them again and that kind of thing we'll do one at a time we'll see how it goes okay so let's start with some trucks boys so we can buy some vehicles oh yeah this game actually has real real world vehicles in it too like the cascadia tanker truck i think we want this one though this can haul actually i think this can haul all the parts we need let's go with this one Wow, it's a million dollar truck, but it's totally going to be worth it. It can haul 30, so let's go with... We'll go with a truck, I guess, to start with. And now we'll make our first line. So we'll have to see how this... Like, what, what this mission needs. We'll start this line and see how it goes. Okay, so we'll call this the... Uh, machine parts. There we go. We're going to get super organized. This is going to look good. Uh, Raptor, I have spent more than $50 on games you play because they are all so good. Well, speaking of good, by the way, you know what's better than good is free. So remember to get the free game from Epic Game Store today. Stranded Deep is, uh, I, I, I wanted to say on sale, but it's not on sale. It's it's free. So, uh, Who's my driver? Oh, who wants to drive our truck? The next person to become a member is going to be driving the truck. So let's see if we can uh, start our first little delivery here. Oh, do I have to turn on the lines? I don't remember if you have to activate a line. I think it's just automatic, isn't it? Or no, I have to assign a road vehicle to it. There we go. I think. Add a station, new line. No, we don't want to do that. Road vehicle one is assigned to... Road vehicle one. I need to assign it to a line. Oops, I made. Oh, oh, accidentally bought a duplicate. <laughs> Hold on. I think if they don't drive, you get your money back. Yeah, I want to put a truck on this line, so I want to go. Oh, here we go. Manage vehicles in the line. Bum, bum, bum. Yo, hashtag Slam. That's our first truck driver then. Thank you very much. Welcome. Slam is back as a member. Awesome. Good to have you here, man. Thank you for the support. Set line, machine parts line. There we go. I remember now. There we go. Okay, so now Slam is in his truck. Well, I guess we couldn't go until we had a driver, so now we, now we got him. Look at how cool that looks, dude. This game is severely underrated. This game should have overwhelmingly positive reviews, in my opinion, because it's just like... It's got every form of transportation we've got, except for, like, spaceships and stuff. I think the most fun to do in this game is to, like, have a logging company. I really want a custom campaign for this game. Okay, so there's machine parts being loaded here. So it looks like there's three, so we'll get another driver. We'll have to have another member join, otherwise we can only have one truck at a time. So remember to click or tap join so we can get you into a giveaway for today. If we if we hit our goal, everybody's eligible for a giveaway on Twitter, 
and in our chat today. So don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to jump on our Discord. Links are in the description. Don't forget to check the description. There he goes. Rico Blue is a Raptor hatchling. All right, we have another truck driver. Thanks for signing up with Dino Truck & Co. Fantastic. There we go. Dino Co, no matter what we use, is always running on fossil fuels. And there they go. We should make some nice trees and stuff and decorate our road. Welcome. Yo, hashtag Rico. Thank you very much again for the support. This game's so cool, man. You can build, like, big cities or, like, open country highways or, like, ancient, you know, like, old, old European cities with, like, ancient roads and stuff. You know, like, you can build along in ancient uh, cities. Very cool. Can you say hi to me? Hi. Hello. How you doing, Carly? Hi to everybody in chat. I hope you're all having a great day. Thank you for uh, tuning in. Especially you Canadians. We're up there in Canada, bud, 1998. We're up there in Alberta. There, that looks much nicer. I totally never decorate in this game, and it's, again, severely underrated. Okay, so two trucks are loaded up and trucking, doing what they say can't be done. So they'll come on back. Jeremy Man is now a member. Welcome aboard, Jeremy. Let's get you into a truck as well. I think you're right. We're going to need a third one. Let's buy another one. To get, to get the rest of those machine parts. Three trucks hauling 30 parts. That's fine. Eventually, we're going to have to haul other things like uh, bread and consumer goods and stuff because Fort McMurray is about to become super busy with all the people moving to town for the oil industry. There goes our trucks. Okay, let's build some more. Can I put, like, trees in the middle? Oh, yeah. Sweet. Remember, welcome. Yay, welcome to all the new members. There we go, now she's starting to look like Canada. I love how the trucks actually drive their speed limit too. This guy's doing like 80 kilometers. Oh, whoa, you're speeding, bud. Slow it down. Oh no, this road's 100. There he goes. Is there a way to like follow the vehicle? Oh, there we go. All right, boys, we'll, we'll take our time to get started. It's all about me. You were wondering if I would I would play this? Yeah, this game is like I don't know. I just it's been a year. I haven't played the campaign in a year, and it's just good to be back. Dutch joke says, uh, "Is this your ra <laughs> is this your tag in Epic Game Store? Raptor uh, Raptoria is our code in the Epic Game Store. If you ever want to buy something on Epic to support the channel." Yeah, you're right, Pinto. We need multiplayer for this game. It is a lot of fun to play this game um, when you're setting up airlines. But the the best part about this game is when you've got everything working together. Like when you have a ferry going between two busy cities and they're bringing people to an international airport, but there's also a train line that connects the two cities, but there's also a bus line that connects the two cities. But then you've got like, you know, farm stuff, you know, like food from the farms and stuff being brought into the cities. It's... It's crazy. It's crazy how complicated you can get in this game. Like, right now, we're just in extreme noob mode. We set up a truck line with uh, three trucks. whoop de doo It's about to get real busy very soon. All right, so the truck is delivering machine parts. Oh, looks like we've already delivered four out of 30. Good. Very good. And that truck there was hauling a few more, I think. Ten, so we're up to 14. So we're almost halfway there. How was my Christmas? Oh, it was so good. Ooh, we made $66,000. All right. Go Canada. Are there other things we can put down, like decoration-wise? Oh, we can put down rocks? Where can I put down a rock? Oh, right there. Sweet. That's probably dangerous, but okay. Oh, wow. I can put down park benches. There we go. We'll put this park bench down so that way anybody driving a Ford has somewhere to wait for the tow truck. I'm just kidding. Nobody drives a Ford. Okay. Trucks are coming back and forth. We're good. You got a Nintendo Switch for Christmas? That's good. Add a sandbox and postal and waste mod. Oh, oh really? There's uh, those types of mods for this game? 
Oh, there's, is, is there a, an a post-apocalyptic trucking mod for this game? Dude, that sounds awesome. <laughs> Hashtag skip and chat. Thank you very much for smashing that uh, join button. Welcome aboard. Hello from Texas. What's up, Jeremy? Make a mini stone hedge. Good idea, Bender. I want to... I want to... Is there like a community-made campaign for this game? This game is literally the best game ever, dude. I just, I love playing this one. What? You were only hauling one machine part? I guess the machine factory can only make them so fast. Now there's like, oh, there's a bunch waiting there. Perfect. I think we constantly, once we get started with this, I think we constantly have to supply that factory with supply, uh, with machine part supplies. So it's going to be a thing we keep doing here soon enough. All right, we have uh, Athabasca here, so we're gonna have to connect to that eventually. Oh, there's bread and stuff too. Anytime in this game you're playing a campaign and you see buildings like this, you're probably gonna have to connect to them at some point, so you may as well start doing that. And down here we have Edmonton too, which is home of North America's largest mall. I gotta go to Canada, I I've never been. Well, not legally anyway, but anyway. You know what we could do is we could continue our highway. We, we could actually delete this road and make the uh, county road continue this way and go down into Athabasca. Oh, yeah. we could, Oh, we could actually build like a huge... Although I think eventually we get access to trains, and I think trains will be a little bit more... Yeah, actually, tr trains would probably be a little better for going that far. Like if we need to go from Edmonton to Fort McMurray, trains are the way you're going to want to go. There you go. There goes the semi trucks. I like the fact that we got them red. I do need to come here. Yeah, I'm 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 on my way right now. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna have to visit Canada. Okay, so let's see. Mission one is almost complete. We're preparing the extraction pits so that way we can get that Earl. And there goes those giant trucks, man. They're dropping off tons of that oil now. Or the oil sands for processing. Seeing these buildings is super satisfying. Could you imagine if this game... Imagine this game plus Factorio. That is amazing. What happened to Men of War? Question mark, question mark, question mark. It's available now on Steam for a big discount, actually. You can buy it today. All right, more trucks hauling in. 24 out of 30. We need one more delivery. Where's our next truck? Oh, there he is. All right, mission one complete. Bum, 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 bum. The old Edmonton Fort McMurray. Yeah, we're about to make that line. All right, it's about to get really epic in here. We're just starting out slow on purpose. We're just we're going a little slow. Should be able to complete this first mission before chat gets to 250 likes. There's no possible way I think we could even possibly get there. So don't, don't even try, chat. The truck's just too fast. This Cascadia is just going to pull the e-brake and just pull right in. Don't even try it. I'm your favorite YouTuber. Well, thanks for watching. I appreciate the support. Yep, I'm sorry, chat. The truck's just too fast. No, no possible way that you get to 300 likes. There's no way. It's just too fast. I'm sorry. Especially with that apparently... Uh, giant uh, jackknife that we just did. Weird. Alright, that should be mission complete. No? Oh, he's short on a few. You win this round, chat. Alright, well here comes the next truck. While we're waiting for that truck, let's um, see where else we could expand to. We could... What, where else could Fort McMurray connect to? I don't see anything nearby. At one point, I think we have to deliver bricks there, construction materials, because both towns are about to expand quite immensely. Hmm. The tar sand mining has begun. Make sure that the finished product makes it to the global market. Uh, yes, ma'am. Deliver the oil produced in the refinery to any consumer. Well, there you go. So this is creating... So this is creating uh, oil now from the oil sands, so we should be able to swing a road back to the highway, and now we have... All right, I need more truckers. Uh, let's see, our last uh, couple people to join us were... Uh, we had Skip join us. I need more truck drivers. Click or tap join. I, I'm starting a trucking company, boys. I need more drivers. Actually, I wonder if we could... Can we just name the truck after everybody? That'd be kind of cool. All right, we're going to build a county road to go along the coast back to the old highway. We'll call this route... 
Uh, 420. Cool. Let's see. I suppose we could make the highway a little longer, right? You know, we could actually have it swing back to the bridge here. Or even delete the bridge, maybe. The longer we make the highway, though, the less... Or the, uh... Less time it'll take, because everyone can drive a higher speed. Bum, bum, bum. What's up, Pix? Welcome back, dude. How you doing? Less trucks and more uh, submarines and mechs. Man, Leon, I knew I liked something about you. Alright, so apparently we can't build over here. It's a prohibited area. So we're going to have to build over the coast, I think, to sneak past the, uh, the guards, so to speak. Otherwise, we're going to have to go into Fort McMurray, and that's going to take a lot longer. And cost us more money, because we're going to have to build the highway over there. Hmm. So it looks like we could build out here. Oh, wait, we can't build over the... Wait, can we not build over the river? Oh, no, we can build over the river. Okay. All right, we got to be big brain about this. However, our road's a little too big. Damn, this music is super good. Keep that road up like this. There we go. YouTuber, when is the Fortnite stream? Fortnite? Um, that's a couple of days, isn't it? Okay, so we have to build the bridge here because otherwise this is considered the oil company's land and they don't want us on their land, so that makes sense. We'll, we'll just have to build out here. We'll build it with a highway. There we go. Highway bridge. That should do, right, boys? When I say boys, I mean ladies, too, right? Oh, are you taking pictures? Chat's taking pictures. Oh, dude. I'm glad you joined me for the, the best game ever, which is this game. Well, let's make it like this. Okay, so let's go with that. Oh, that's perfect. Dude. Okay, we need to build a vehicle depot here. So we can pick up the Earl. We need to pick up Earl. So we'll go with the uh, truck station here. Ladies too looks good to me. Yeah, we gotta make sure we have Amber's. One thing I learned about the, the ladies in the building games is that they have an absolute like keen eye for detail like at all times like a uh, everybody's got their their specialties or whatnot but one thing I've noticed is anytime I play these building games the ladies are always the ones saying hey good job on like beating the mission but you should make it look pretty and I'm like you're right we should like there's nothing stopping us from making it look good like we can beat these missions but we also got to look good too you know we got to make it look good all right another one to go I mean, you know, in these games, you like, we literally started with $200 million. There's nothing stopping us from making it look pretty, you know? Yeah, let's build our truck stop here. The OCD gets into overdrive. Yeah, sometimes you can't make things perfect. Like, you know, things will be off a little bit. But, you know, if anything, you know, if you're ever off a little bit in this game or something didn't turn out the way you wanted to all you got to do is this there's a secret cheat in the game uh, to fix that all you got to do is uh, this there you go just bury it in trees and no one will no one will know play American Truck Sim what do you mean bud we're in Canada right now we got our own trucking company going all right we got to make a line two. calling all members I need some more members for volunteering to uh, work for my second trucking company so now we got to make a new line New Line Cinema, apparently. We're opening up a movie theater now. So what do we got? We need a uh, new line, right? So let's make, yep, yellow line. And the yellow line's going to start down here at the old, uh, where is this place? Down here. The old Fort McMurray Halt. And then go to the old Alab Athabasca Sidings. Okay, good. So we'll call this, uh, that'll be our oil refinery line. Dude, I, I'm really proud of myself for taking time to actually do this right. 
one thing I've worked on this year, like one thing that I've improved myself on a lot is detailing and like adding, it's like taking my time, you know what I mean? Well, to be honest, in 2020, we haven't had anything but time, so that's good. You know, one thing that... Oh, Stink. you're looking to join. Excellent. I wish it was different. The join button next to the subscribe button now. I wish what was different is uh, in this game you have to buy the truck with the trailer, so it's not necessarily like you're buying the truck, you're buying the truck and the trailer. So, like, you can see the differences between these two vehicles. All right, I need more members to be part of my oil company. We need to deliver oil to any consumer. This is going to make us good money. So let's go with, uh, let's buy, like, five of these. So the next five people to click or tap join are working on my new, uh... They're now working for my trucking company. My oil truck company. Okay, let's get them set up now. So oil refinery line. So I want to add vehicles to that. So we want these guys... Oh yeah, we can select more than one, don't we? Yep. We want all those people working on that line. Perfect. Oh, we're going to see a lot of trucks on this road, boys. Here we go. Dude, why can't we build like a Wendy's or something along here? Dude, imagine how much money we would make. Uh, guys, we got a lot of truckers driving on our road now. Can, it, can anyone feed the truckers? They're going to be hungry. Wow. Thank you, Owen Wilson. Yes. Oil equals heavy breathing. That's right. All right, so trucks are delivering machine parts to the mines, which are constantly going to be needed. Oil's going to suddenly be uh, shipped out to the other line. Can I configure this as to what? But oh, we can actually... Oh, that's right. I forgot. We can always... This is cool. We can actually extend this and build it even bigger. So if, if suddenly you uh, need more space for your deliveries and pickups, you can modify the... Uh, oh, boy. Here they come. So if any time you need more space at your loading docks, you can make them bigger. Oh man, here they come crawling through. Yeah, these trees are huge. Let's watch them cross the road. We're just going to play this in slow mode, dude. This is like chill, chill mode activate. Grab yourself a cup of coffee, some Hot Pockets, whatever your favorite drink and snack are. we got a long way to go, boys. I need some more drivers. I feel like an NVIDIA graphics card. I need so many drivers. Jeez. Uh, yes, Dutch joke. We do plan to play that pretty soon, actually. At some point. Probably within the next couple weeks. Ba -ba. Hello, Soptic. How you doing? Yeah, we're hauling bacon grease. That's right. This game looks like City Skylines. I completely agree with you. The best game ever would be like a, hy a hybrid between these two games. Like, you get to build the city, but more importantly, look at all these options for like building roads and stuff. Lady Shiva, thank you so much for the cup of coffee. That is very kind. Yeah, unfortunately, it would have looked a little weird to build like a four-lane highway out here, but... I guess for legal purposes, we had to go away from the mine. They, they don't want us on their property, so we had to build it over here. However, I think building this little bridge here was way cheaper than building another road through the like the kind of like a mountain here, like a little bit of a, yeah. Yo, Redman is now a Raptor Egg. Welcome aboard, Redman. You're one of the truck drivers now on the uh, oil line. In fact, you're the first one pulling in. So we've got 12 oil sitting here. Each of these trucks can haul a total of 36. So as time progresses, they're going to produce more and more oil because more and more workers are going to be here, and uh, it's going to be interesting. Uh, Raptor, if you click the vehicle, then uh, page up and page down. Oh, is that for following different vehicles? Uh, page up, page down is not working, but we can follow each truck across the map if we want to. Alright, so the first truck is fully loaded. Once it arrives at the uh once it arrives here, we'll be good to go. Okay, I think while we're waiting for those trucks to arrive, I think we should um prepare to make like a train station, because I know we have to make a train station at some point. And what we could do is we could start a smaller trucking company that delivers stuff to the rail yard. 
So we could build like a giant train station here in Athabasca. And we could bring like the high we could bring the highway down to the city. We could build a train station here and then have the train go this way towards uh, Fort McMurray. So that way both cities are connected and then the factories on the outside are connected too. Oh, there's Edmonton as well. So we could actually make the train go across the river and go to Edmonton too. Yeah, because we need to we need to be able to ship those uh, Timmies everywhere. We're actually making tim we're making a uh, double double at Timmies. Yeah, we're gonna have to make some train stations. That's for sure. But before we do that, I think I want to connect these two at least to the city. So let's make maybe a, a br we need to make a railway bridge and a highway bridge to connect these two. And I think it might be a good... We could actually make some extra money by starting a bus... Like a little bus company. We could connect these two cities together. So that might be a good idea. Sounds like a plan, Stan. Okay, I like that. And we don't always have... Like, we're going to be making tons of money from the oil industry. So, like, we don't necessarily have to do this. But if the opportunity presents itself, we may as well. Let's see if we can... Uh, how, do we, how would we connect all these roads up here? I guess we could build a highway between them. Well, I think a county road is good, or country road. Because if I build a highway, it's just, it's not necessary. Uh, <laughs> the plastic factory doesn't want the oil, the farms do. Yeah, eventually. I'm sure they'll take a lot of oil when they get tractors. Okay, let's build a road here. There's actually a mission in this game that takes place in my hometown in, in Minneapolis. Uh, where you have to start a Greyhound busing company, which was founded by a, a Swede, I think. Which is pretty cool. There's also Hungary in the game. And uh, I think France, too. I think France was in the original Transport Fever. But they made Train Fever, then they made Transport Fever. Now the, the best game ever, Transport Fever 2. I love it. I think we should make a roundabout here. We'll make like a, yeah, size two, two lane roundabout here. Yeah, dude, this game is like wholesome. It's been a year since I played it, so I'm happy to like, you ever, you guys do that often once in chat if like you, you play a game and then a year later you're like, oh yeah, it's been like a whole year. I want to play that again. Yeah, I agree. Ever since the Athabasca tar sands were discovered, the community of Fort McMurray has experienced an unprecedented boom. Boom. The oil industry is constantly creating new jobs and, as a result, provides a livelihood for many, many families. The jobs are well paid and in great demand. People from all over Canada make their way here to settle down. Your company is offering a unique service to go easy on staff and their cars. The people are brought to their shift by bus. Oh. All right, we need to bring workers to the refinery now via bus. Okay. Damn, this music, though. This is so good. I love it. Let's make this go normal. There we go. This music just makes me think of, like, a Popeye's commercial or something. Or, like, something from uh, KFC. Come on in for the new McLick and Double. Only from KFC. Hey, uh, is it just me, or does like does uh, KFC need to stop making commercials and memes on Twitter and start making some good chicken again? Am I right? When I'm elected king president of the world, the first thing... Well, first we'll throw a pizza party for the world, but second, I'm going to get KFC to shut down their Twitter and start focusing on making actual decent chicken again. It's going to be like, you can't call yourself KFC if... Like, come on, the colonel's going to... The colonel's going to come back from the dead and like haunt the earth we need to like we need to we need to fix this whole situation you guys got going on with this subpar chicken it's it's bad it's 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 bad it's not great is this live it is and welcome all right i think we'll come back here a little bit later let's go do our bus line up here okay so we need to build we need to build a bus line that brings workers to the refinery so where's the refinery there so we need to bring workers to the f refinery. So the closest way is Fort McMurray. Pick up the workers and drop them off there. Yeah, KFC's making gaming consoles now. Like, KFC, dude, no one's going to KFC for game gamer fuel. 
Like, I, I don't. when I think of a KFC, I don't think of, like, gaming. Do you? I don't think I think of any fast food place. Mountain Dew certainly wants you to think of Mountain Dew when you're, when, when you're talking about gaming, but I don't. All right, let's build a bus station here for all of our workers. We'll build them a little apart so that way, if they need to be expanded, we can do that. Now I just want to play this like it were a park attack. Like, I want to build a, like, a nice, decent station around this building. We could actually put like a nice little uh, restaurant here, too, so the workers could go somewhere for lunch. God bless this live stream. Thank you, Anthony. I hope I hope things going great for chat, by the way. You guys are awesome. So I, I hope you're having a good end of the year, finally. Congratulations, by the way, everybody watching right now. You have made it, pretty much, through 2020. We're almost there. Who knows what could happen next, but we're almost there, right? Dude, I'm really proud to make things look good in this game. We're going to make it look good. Okay, that's one bus station. Now let's build some bus stops to pick up people from all over Fort McMurray. Able Gamer, thanks for becoming a Raptor Egg again. Dude, I am so happy. Nothing's better when a member comes back. I love that. I love that you guys love the channel enough to come on back. That's awesome. Thank you very much for the continued support, Able Gamer. You are awesome. All right, we'll build a bus stop here and a bus stop here. And then we should be able to just have the bus go like one, two, and then back up here. So it should just be like a like a quick circle. So that means we need to build another bus depot nearby. So we'll just build a bus depot in town or a road depot. You could either do that or you could just connect the road, but I mean, it doesn't make sense to have a bus drive all the way from outside of town if they're going to be working in the town. Actually, we could build one over here. Ooh. Yeah, let's make this facility, we're going to make this facility look all built up now. Yeah, let's make this look good. There we go. We'll, we'll kind of make that look like it's part of one facility, you know? Bum, 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 bum. You liked at the start of the stream? Well, thank you for smashing the like button. That's very nice of you. Oh, we can also do painting? Oh, no way. Dude, I didn't realize this game had this many options. See, this is what happens when you play a game really quickly like I did the first time. I played it really quick and then had to move on to other stuff. But now that we got this nice year end where things are nice and calm for a while, you know, all the big games came out. You can go back and play the classics. Uh, chat, I, I have a question for everybody in chat. One's in chat if you're... Uh, if you're alive and kicking, I'm just wondering who's here. One in chat if you're uh, if you're uh, awake right now. I'm gonna need chat's help for something big. I need a I have a big question to ask. Is this like a what is this? Is this like asphalt? Or is that snow? What is that? Oh, it's like rock. Oh, snow zero one, scree, grass, gravel, rock. Is there like, is there like asphalt? Oh yeah, there we go. Cool. Oh dude, I can actually make make this like a fenced off facility. Although I don't like that color. Does this cost us anything? All right, boys. Here, here's what I need from chat. I need everybody to give me one game that I should buy on Steam and play on the channel. The Steam Winter Sale is going on. What would be a game you would recommend for me and everybody else watching to get? What's a game I should buy? If you've already seen me play it, I've already, I already own it, but what's a new game that I could play? Any ideas? Dude, we're gonna make this look like a giant facility. This is gonna be awesome, dude. Uh, don't don't tell Amber, but uh, this this facility is for Amber, because uh, you know I want I want I, I hope to be as good of a, a builder one day. Also, because I want to see Amber build a hotel in uh, in Park Tech too. Fallout seventy six, that one I already have. Factorio, that's a good one. City Skylines, I got that. Call of Duty Black Ops two. Oh yeah. Oh, older games are totally totally uh. A valid choice. Yeah, I might be getting a little too detailed on this, but, uh, you know.
Disco Elysium. Oh, nice suggestion. Nice suggestion. Mountain Blade 2. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. Oh, Industry Giant 2. Nice. Subsistence. Oh, yeah. Sur survival games. I actually was trying to put a survival game on the channel earlier today. I couldn't because YouTube's being really weird with its, like, processing right now. So it's taking extra time to, like, process videos. I don't know why. So I'll have a I'll have a new survival game out there for you guys very soon. Oh, Metro Exodus, nice. Cold Waters, I got that one was good. Uh, I I would recommend you guys uh, Wolf Pack is good. Also, any game that you've seen me play on on the channel, um, that has an overwhelmingly positive review. Anytime you see a game with overwhelmingly positive, just just go, just get it. Like City Skylines, American Truck Simulator, this game. Actually, I think this one has mostly positive reviews, but. I mean, I don't, I don't see what more you could ask for in a game like this. It's got like, uh, what, six, eight, like 18 missions plus like an incredible amount of mods. So I don't know what, I don't know what the community's mad about, but whatever. Park Attack, get Park Attack 2. Dude, this looks awesome. This is so cool. Yeah, let's maybe make a line to d divide these two. Actually, this is a this is a Freakendale factory for Thurston. Uh, I don't have a Nintendo Switch, no, but Nintendo Switch is really cool. There we go. All right, that looks somewhat decent. Like it's not perfect, but if you all right, everybody close their eyes. Okay, if you picture something good, it it looks pretty good, doesn't it? Perfect. All right, cool. Planet Coaster, yes. Planet Coaster and Planet Zoo are two must-have games, as well as Parkitect as well. Okay, now that we've got our bus line set up, let's go ahead and buy some buses now. All right, I need some new bus drivers. Who else wants to drive my buses? I need some bus drivers. Let's see, what do we have for buses? The GM Fishbowl, that was made in 19... Whoa, they stopped making those in 2010? Holy crap. Uh, let's see. The new Flyer D40. Oh, we should go with some modern buses. Loading speed three times. Loading speed four times. Oh, that'll be good. I think we should go with the Maz. Because it has a faster loading speed. So let's do that one. Because we can get passengers on that pretty quickly. Let's do... I need three new drivers. I need three people to smash join. Let's go with uh, three of these. Can we actually paint the color of the bus? I don't know if we can actually change the color of the bus. I know we can change the route. Let's uh, start designing the route now. Alright, line three shall be from... Uh, let's see. We'll have the buses start here. Go here, and then circle back again. So basically, they'll come down from the facility, zip through town, and then back. That's cool. I like that. Yo, Gecko is a driver. Welcome aboard, Gecko. Thanks for signing up. Let's go ahead and call this the uh, Fort. Was it Fort McMurray? I think it's Fort McMurray. Wait, no, uh... It's for the mines. Fort McMurray. Yep, I was right. Nice. I don't know why we don't call the town Fort McNugget. Well, actually... Good. Very good. <laughs> I have become mayor and renamed the town. Alright, let's go Fort... Nice. We'll go back. Okay. Yes, you can change the city names. There you go. Je Jessica knows. Jessica, you like secretly a low-key like professional player. I, I play, I play Transport Fever Two professionally. Like, oh wow, really? That's awesome. Please tell me more. I must know. Tell me the secrets. I must become a good a good gamer. 
Okay, so all those buses are go. Let's go. All right, now we need to transport 30 Canadians across the river to the mines. Well, let's add some trees and stuff now. Make this facility look deep. Can I put down fences and stuff? Dude, I'm going to blow my mind if I actually see that we can put fences down. If we can put down, like, some sort of fencing, if they have that in this game. Oh, just a wooden fence? Uh oh. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, uh, unfortunately, it's not like a click and drag thing. I think we have to put these down, like, one at a time. Oh. Oh, well. Oh, well. Bum, 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 bum. Mod, moderator, please. Bum, bum. All right, let's add some trees to the back. Yeah, the Swiss Alps are in the game. That's right, you can go to Switzerland. I mean, there's like, oh, a cool thing about this game, too, is it has a really good, um, it has a really good uh, generator. Like, uh, you can make some really cool generated maps. Pump, pump, pump. All right. Pump, pump, pump. Bum, bum, bum. You follow me on Twitter? Thank you very much. With that, you will be eligible for some giveaways. If you guys haven't joined the Discord yet, links in the description. Follow me on Twitter and stuff. I have games to give away, and I want to try to at least get to like 10,000 Twitter followers, so please do uh, follow me on Twitter and uh, Instagram and stuff. All the links are down below. I'll drop them in chat, too. And uh, you can get something in return for it, dropping game keys all the time. I think... Uh, within the last month, I think we've given out over 150 random game keys to everything from uh, new games to classics. I want to get more keys for this game. I want to I want to give away some Transport Fever keys. Hopefully, I can get some to give to y'all. And if you don't have one, you can always make one, too. Pretty easy to make. Oh, there we go. That brush size is much better. All right, looking good. All right, that's that's looking much better. Okay, so we're in the hole. We're losing ten million, but that's because we bought a crazy amount of trucks. No real way around that. Ooh, there are a lot of people following me on Twitter. My phone is blowing up. Thank you guys. That is super cool. Yeah, if, if you don't have an account, make one. Instagram and Twitter, and you guys can uh, follow me pretty easily there if you would like to. Dude, look at how cool this is. The buses... The coolest thing about this game is that the bus actually says Fort McMurray on the front of it. You see that? That's really cool. So now we got buses rolling around. Chad, do you know if you can change the color of the bus, or does it take the color of the line? I guess it doesn't take the color of our line, because the second trucks that we made didn't turn blue. Our second color line... or no, yellow. Yeah, Crusader Kings 3 is a great game, Tez. That's that's another one I would recommend. I was never into those uh, Crusader King games, and when I played the third one, I was like, wow, this is awesome. All right, the semi-trucks are hauling the oil back and forth. That is beautiful. You can change the color? I kind of like the green color. How do we change? How, how do we change the color? Oh, right here. Oh, beautiful. That is awesome. I kind of like the green color, though, for the buses. Or should we make them blue? Is there a way to change it for all the buses? If we go to all the buses on the McMurray line, is there a way to change all their colors? There is, right here. Oh, dude. That's awesome. That is sweet. That That is, that is a blue thumbs up in chat. Let's get a line of blue. Oh, look at that. Workers are already arriving. We're already halfway there. Gee, boy, that's that's sweet. Uh, you don't ha have enough room on the oil uh, station for the oil? I think we do. I don't think there's... Um, I don't know if there's a way to tell how much we can store. What'll happen is when this fills up with the uh, barrels, then it becomes like a giant oil tanker. 
We'll, we'll monitor that. You might be right. We'll, we'll, we'll keep an eye on that. See how that works. Oh, there goes the buses right back across. Look at that. Oh, dude, that bridge is sweet. Oh, no, did we... Oh, no, this is a concrete bridge. Although it's not as flat as I would like it to be, but uh, that's all right. That's okay. Wow, that's a really strange looking bridge, actually. That's a long bridge. That bridge is longer than the line at a, at a Chick-fil-A on Saturday before they close for the next day. 457, welcome aboard. You're now a bus driver in my uh, my truck and company. I guess we do buses, too. So thank you very much for the support. Thank you, everybody, for being here. This game is awesome, man. I hope I hope you guys get transport fever, too. I want to play this again tomorrow and do a new mission each day. I'm feeling really inspired by chat to play more of this because, honestly, each mission of this game is so different. Like, we, we in this mission, we probably won't use airplanes, but tomorrow we'll probably use, like, more trains or airplanes or something like that. So we'll, we'll definitely do that. Yeah, hashtag 457. Yeah, we're uh, near Alberta right now. Uh, near Well, Fort McMurray is where we're doing the mining across the river. And we should have all the passengers shipped over there. Careful, folks. Bus coming in. Quickly now. Quickly. Oh, oh boy. Wow. <laughs> all right. Well, I guess there's no collision for the people, but it's the same in city skylines. People just walk randomly. Okay. So another mission complete. One more person to deliver. And we're good to go. Provide the booming town with everything a heart could desire. Food, shopping options, and local public transit. Although everyone has a car here, an even better transportation offer never does any harm. Okay, I think we want to do a train here. This is awesome. I, I would like to do trucks, but I think a train would be much cooler. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to put a train here, and we'll have one to connect to Edmonton eventually. Because consumer goods are eventually going to be, need to be delivered. So that'll be good. Alright, so oil equals goods. But we need to deliver food and goods. That means we need to get the oil over here. How much oil is produced here? 62 out of 100. Okay, we could, we could do a local trucking company here. This is a good distance for trucks. But this is a much better distance for trains, I think. Especially if we're hauled up with all sorts of goods. Dude, we need to do trains. Alright, Chad, if you get up to 500 likes, I'll build, a, I'll build a giant train line. If you guys like trains, let me know. You guys can vote now for democracy. In the meantime, I'm going to make a uh, extendo line that goes from here to the old... Because I want to also build more trucks, too. Trucks and trains, dude. This mission is all about trucks and trains. It's a training mission. Alright, let's build our highway out here. Okay, I think I want to make a highway road here. Like something like that. Let's make the bridge first. And we'll connect it. Uh, Athabasca. Now, if we build there, where should I make the train? <gasps> dude, we could put a train tunnel here. Oh, dude, that'll be sweet. We'll put a train tunnel here and here, and then it'll go straight towards Fort McMurray. And we'll probably build our train station, like, here. Oh, that's perfect. That's, like, close to the center of downtown. That's not far at all. That is beautiful. Eastbound and down. That's right. Loaded up and trucking, doing what uh, Canadians uh, say can't be done. Which is nothing. Everything's possible in Canada. Okay, we're going to need to build a road around this, too. Okay, we're going to need to be careful about how we build things. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, Fort Fort Apology, yeah. That's what, we're, that's what we're building next to. Oh, actually, this is a much better area to build a bridge here. So let's build our bridge here. Please play Ke Creeper World? Yep, that's on our list. Make sure you check down below in the description to see what I'm going to be working on next on the channel. All the upcoming games are all listed down there in the uh, on the schedule. Don't worry, I got you covered, my friend. Oh, we can upgrade roads too, can't we? There's a way to upgrade roads? Oh, dude. Oh, oh, we can't do that there, though, because it collides with the pre-existing factory. But that's okay, that's only a short distance. 
That's shorter than the distance chat has to 500 likes. That's pretty short. All right, so we're going to consider this like our highway. It's not a highway, but it oh is. Oh, my God, Mom made pizza rolls. The pizza roll highway, that's right. Where are Terrence and Philip? I'm not sure. They're around here somewhere, bud. Well, let's make a cool little... Uh... Oh, I, I do like the fact that there's a bridge there. That's awesome. But I think we'll just keep it concrete for now. That's a pretty solid idea. <laughs> Thank you, I'll be here all week. Dude, let's connect it up right here. Right there is perfect. So let's build a highway here. Dude, this music right now is just perfect. Although this makes me think of uh, the cowboy capital of Canada. Isn't that Calgary? Am I right about that? Yeah, I don't want to destroy the downtown. Oof. If I don't build a roadblock, I mean a roadblock, a roundabout, this is going to make heavy traffic, but... I don't think we're going to see a lot of traffic here except for uh, oil tankers coming in to... Uh, actually, we need to go back here. So we do have our highway bridge going here. Oh, I wonder if I can make a... Maybe I should make a bypass around, but I think the trucks would still take the surface streets. Uh oh Other Canadians aren't going to like that. But uh, What's better, transport fever or city skylines? That's like saying what's better, pancakes or waffles. Like, they're kind of the same, but they're not... But they are, but they're... Like, you should probably have, like, one of each. You know what I mean? Okay. So now we also need to connect to Edmonton. So let's just build a road down here, too, just for the... Just for the sake of it. So we'll build a road that continues to go down this way. Uh-oh. That's not what I want to do. Dude, I'm surprised at how easy this game is to play. Like, I picked this up, and within, like, ten minutes, I was like, oh, yeah... Like, I remembered all the controls and stuff. Oh, there's a tunnel here. Cool. I think we should build a tunnel right through here. That'll look sweet. That'll look as cool as me on the Instagram. No, I'm not cool. Don't listen to me. I only pretend. Oh, that's a long tunnel, though. Oh, no, that's not that long. That's a pretty... Oh, that's a beautiful connection. Look at that. Right into downtown. Gorgeous. That's a big win, boys. That's a that's a big W right there. That's a that's a big W right there. Although let's smooth out this section a little bit more. That is a that's a big W. Big big W. All right, let's go to this one. Nice, very good. And then we'll upgrade too. So yeah, local deliveries and stuff, that'll be fine with um, with trucks, but we do need a train too. And chat just hit 500 likes! Good job, guys. Thank you for the support. That means the world to me, so thank you. That is beautiful. Okay, so we need to set up... Uh, so, the, so as chat was saying earlier, the farms do require oil, the processing plant. So basically it's like oil to, to fuel the, the farming industry, essentially. And then fuel to farm, uh, to uh, fuel the goods industry. And then also construction materials. So we'll build that next, next to here. So let's put down a train station. And then we will have to, uh, I guess we could build a cargo station here. Cargo of room. Okay, let's build a train station here. I kind of want to build this, like, level with this. So let's get out the bulldozer. I don't I don't know if terraforming is, is expensive in this game, is it? Oh, yeah, it can be. Okay. We'll need to be careful building this train station. Let's do it real quick. Something like that should should stream that out. There we go. Very streamlined. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, that's not too bad. So we will connect the train line here. We have so much money? Uh, yeah, it looks like it, but I mean, we have 200 million, but we've almost spent 20, we almost spent 25 million on a couple of trucks and some infrastructure. 
And I think trains are about like two million a piece. So our money, we, we just need to be careful, that's all. We just need to make sure we we keep an eye on it, you know? All right, let's build a train depot here. Cool. Oh, that's nice. And then we'll build some roads around that, so let's do that. Sorry, bud, sorry. Alright, well, let's do some city streets. Medium street, okay. I wish we could be on easy street, that would be a nice street to be on. Is anybody here from easy street? I think they've had some recent people move in. I think there's some new kids on the block. Ooh, you know what we could do actually? We can make this like this. Check this out, chat. We got incoming big brain. Get ready. Check this out. Incoming big brain. Watch this. Wait, hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, I don't know if we can build... We'll just start with regular tracks. Beautiful. You hope I had a great Christmas? I did, Bailey, and I hope the same for you. I hope everybody had a... Well, I, I hope you guys are actually still, like, off. I hope you guys are still on, like, a vacation or a break from everything going on. Work, school, end of the world. You know, the typical, the usual. Okay, so I want to build, like, a road bridge that goes over the top there. If I can. It might have to be, like, a 90-degree bridge, but I guess that's just what we get with... with this kind of game. Is that not high enough to make a bridge? I guess because the game's trying to snap to it. Oh, it's also trying to go down. Oh, there we go. We can build something like that. There's a collision? I'm just trying to avoid making the road, the railroad crossing. Oh, press M? Thank you. Ooh, oh, ooh, what the... Yeah, this, this is okay. This, not good, but this is okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Wait, Jessica, how do you know this? See, Jessica's like a secret... Okay, so apparently, okay, I did, I did not know. At first I thought, like, maybe Jessica played it once or twice, but once you know the hotkeys, that's when you know you're like a competitive player. She's in the eSport League for competitive play in, uh, of course, a single-player game. You love this game, lol? I mean, th that's that's good. That's very good. Good. I'm tripping the wires. Yeah, I'm just trying... I know I'm trying to be really a perfectionist right now, but, dude, if we could build a cool bridge there, we're going to be really proud of that. Oh, you know what? I should have made the train lines go down. I thought the train lines were flat, but I guess not. They're actually going up, and we should make them level. Well, that'll probably help us on our mission. To make things look mediocre at best. Yeah, apparently, apparently Jessica needs to start a YouTube channel, and I'll make sure I subscribe immediately so I can learn how to play this game correctly. I love that. You know somebody's good at a game when they tell you all the hotkeys. Man, can you... Game, will you just let me build a bridge, please? I'm just trying to build a bridge so I look cool. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's decent. All right, that's a decent bridge. Okay, there we go. Now, uh, I don't like it over here, but over here it's a little better. There we go. That's better. All right. So let's build a bridge here. Let's make sure this looks nice. You love my videos? I love your support. Thank you very much for being here today. As a reminder, don't forget to subscribe, so that way we can uh, do some more giveaways for chat, by the way, for our subscribers. If you're not yet subbed, 
I mean, that's kind of the only way I can give you stuff if, if you subscribe and hang out and chat with me. I know, you gotta hang out with me. That, But that's part of the deal. That's part of my evil plan. You at least gotta hang out with me a little bit. I gotta get some more keys for this game. It'll be fun to do a giveaway for. Yeah, the train's crossings here are a little bit of a pain in the neck, but it seems like both sides are flat. But this will be like the biggest trouble that we have in the game. We'll just have to find a good spot to like build a... Oh, that's perfect right there. That's what we want right there. Now let's just make sure it's... We gotta try to make it like a 90 degree perpendicular. Okay, there we go. Alright, that's gonna be that's gonna be as good as it gets, I think. So you guys can say, this will be the I tried memorial bridge. <laughs> I tried. And sometimes that's that's all that matters. Okay, that's good. Alright, let's build a curvy road here. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, and then we'll circle back. These will be some tighter turns, but the trucks, they, they not, they're they not going to really go that far. Yes, it's the, the first try Memorial Bridge. That is correct. Actually, pro tip, check this out. All you got to do is, sometimes you can just extend a road and it'll make a perfect T intersection like that. If you want to. All right, we'll make a couple of ways to get into this way. Let's make a road here. And we'll make a road here to get to the train station. I guess they can be curvy because the city roads are curvy too, so that's fine. Okay, good. So now we got a way to get to the construction materials area, and I think the, the train station is not connected to that, no. Okay. I need to make a way so that way the construction materials plant is connected. Or we could just do a bunch of smaller trucks. Hmm. Well, actually, we're going to have to build a road depot anyway, because if we're going to bring the goods over here, if we're going to bring the goods, we're going to have to build it over here. So let's do that. We'll do a truck station here. Ah, there we go. So if we have the trucks deliver here, they can supply the train station and the... Uh... Oh, this is this is good. Very good. Uh, in a competitive esports game, the hotkeys that you need are Alt F4. I mean, yeah. If you're not having a good time, but I'm having a good time. Oh, this is cool. Let's put our let's put our delivery point up here. Oh, look at that. That's that's neat. We'll put it right up there. Nice. All right. And then we'll put some delivery points down here too, some truck depots. Hair looks great today, does it? Is it? Am I looking pretty? Well, that's that's why everybody subs. I don't think it's because I'm bad at games. It's because I'm okay with hair. That's what it is. Okay, let's build another depot right here, I suppose. Uh oh, is this like off a little bit? Okay, I. Okay, breathe with me, chat. Don't, don't, don't have an OCD attack. We're gonna, we're gonna try to get it as close as possible, but it's not gonna be perfect. Okay, it's gonna be close. Okay, and this one should be easier. Now we could probably build like one road depot here, but I think if we separate them, that'll just, I don't know. I, I would rather have more lines, you know. So that way we can keep everything kind of separate. Just in case. Because if I built one big road depot, it would kind of like... It would have to be put over here or something and... I don't know. Okay, so now Edmonton is connected to Alabasca. Alab oh, actually, yeah. If we build a small road here, Fort McMurray will be connected too. But I want to build a train line, so we're getting to trains very soon. Okay, so now we got to start delivering uh, oil. Or wait, no, we have to deliver plastics, right? No, oil. Okay, so now we can re we can change this line. Instead of delivering to the chemical plant, let's start delivering to... We're going to change line to the oil refinery line. 
And it looks like we have two trucks delivering. Or no, how many trucks do we have on that line? Oh, okay, we have uh, one, two, five trucks. So we have five tanker trucks that are now going to change destination. So instead of going to sidings, um, we need to deliver food and goods. So we should probably split the route, so let's do this. We're going to change this to be the, uh, instead of oil refinery, we're going to change this to the goods line. The oil for goods line. And then we're going to start a new line. And this one will be for oil for uh, food. And we're going to buy some more trucks. Chat was getting a little concerned. It looks like there might be quite a bit of oil there, so. Why do I hear the National Anthem of America all of a sudden? What's going on? Okay, this is the oil for food line. Cool. There we are. Okay, so oil for food is good to go. I think we'll just keep the five trucks that we have here for the yellow line, and we'll just buy five more. All right, anybody who is a subscriber, this is going to be our subscriber line. Sub now and you'll uh, work for my trucking company. I need subscribers here. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. How do I have all these games and stay updated on them too? Um, I guess just like following all the game developers on Twitter and stuff. I, I go on Twitter and anytime developers are working on games, they usually like tweet out all sorts of information about uh, all that kind of stuff. Like, what, what, what's going on with the game and how close they are to being done. Ooh, it looks... Oh, a lot of people subbing. Welcome aboard. All right, you guys are in the trucking company. Welcome to all those new subs. Yay. Glad you guys are here. All right, let's buy five. Okay, cool. So now all these trucks are going to go on to line... The oil for food line. And now we should be good to go. After all that time of being paused, we finally have ourselves a truck in line. These roads are going to be super busy. Oh, did I just make you buy this game, Luke? Oh, darn. Now now you have an awesome game to play on discount because it's uh, like 33% off on, <laughs> on Steam. Well, that's good. I hope you enjoy. I like this game a lot. And it's been, it's been out for about a year, so there's been plenty of patches. There's tons of mul um, mods and stuff out, too, so that's good. You want to be a sub driver? You could work at Subway. That that's a thing. You could be a sandwich artist. That'd be kind of cool. Bum 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 bum. All right, we're gonna have to put up the anti Billy fil filter standby. Let's see here. Yeah, we need to trank. You're right, Jessica. That's right. We'll put on. Uh, this might actually work. There we go. Uh, this is the Alberta map. This is called uh, oil, something oil. It takes place in the third chapter. I think it's mission three. Does it say what mission it is? Oil Sands, it's called. Mission Oil Sands. Oh, there's bonus tasks. We'll try to do all the bonus objectives, too. Okay, so there's a lot of oil sitting here. I d oh, we're not full. Looks like there's oil on this side, too. Oh, that's actually the other line. We might need to buy some more trucks. I think we might need to buy some more trucks. What's up, Beanie? How you doing, dude? We'll monitor and see if we need to, to purchase more. How do you know if it's full, by the way? Oh, right here, that exclamation point. All right, I guess we're going to need to make it bigger. How do I add to it? Oh, we can make a dual passenger cargo depot? Oh, dude. Right now, it's probably a good idea to keep them separate, in my opinion. All right, we'll make the depot a little longer. We can also make the depot um, have separate... Like, we can we can make this depot a lot bigger and, like, have separate stations or whatever. There's way you can make it way more complicated than I did. But I'm a bit of a noob. But this is a good mission for noobs. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, what do a YouTuber, a sandwich fan, and a... What? Domino's? You mean a calzone? Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum. Oh, there we go. 
All right, all the oil's being loaded up. Good stuff. Yeah, there's Cascadia in the truck in the truck list. I think there's other trucks in here too by default, but there's definitely modded trucks. So I would just say if you haven't, um, I would say if you haven't uh, seen the truck in vanilla, you should be able to find it in like the mods. Uh oh, we might need to make a different way out of this facility now. It's going to be jam packed with trucks. Oh yeah, they're they're like crossing into each other. All right, let's make an exit. We might be able to make, like, a exit for all the vehicles here. Can we make an entrance and exit for these? I wonder if there's a way to do that. We'll make an entrance here. Oh, no. Maybe I can make a one-way road from the highway. Uh-oh. Shouldn't have deleted that road. Probably got to actually come in from the facility. Hold on, that's going to take some big brain. Oh, we could build the entrance here. Oh, that's not going to work, though. We want it to be here. Or, well, we could build it on either side, but that doesn't make sense. We could build it in over here. Ooh. And I don't like that either. Bum, 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 bum. Well, let's do this. If we, if we, well, I don't want to delete all three modules. Okay, hold on. We got to redesign this thing because now we got all this. Uh... Oh, we have to. We have to build it there. Okay. Oh no, that got rid of all the oil. Actually, it might come back. Once we unpause, it might, like, still be in the facility, just not showing graphically, maybe. Wait, so much for trying to make the facility better. I think I want to just redo this facility. Oh, vehicles are in the way? Oh. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. All because I can't build one little road out to the front of the highway. Wait, did it quick save anywhere? Maybe I can undo what I just did. Uh, river logging. Where's auto save? Today at 520. That was seven minutes ago. I'm going to quick load that because otherwise that's going to be a nightmare. Otherwise I got to get all the trucks out of there if I'm going to delete it. Yeah, I was trying to make an entrance and an exit, but it wasn't, uh, it wouldn't let me make it, um, horizontal. It was only vertical. So I was trying to make, like, a, I was trying to change the truck facility to be bigger, but it wasn't letting me delete it because there was trucks there in the way. Mexico loves Raptor, and Raptor loves Mexico. Big fan of the channel, bro. Thank you, Juan, for tuning in, dude. I hope you're having fun. There actually is a mission in Mexico, too, in this game where you build, uh, trolley trams, and it's really cool. Okay, so... We still got our facilities connected, right? Yep, all the stuff we just did is still there, so we're good. So let's redesign this facility. I think we just need to... Yep, we just need to rebuy the trucks. But let's fix this facility now. Bum, 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 bum. All right, let's build a new facility. So we got to change the Fort McMurray halt to something else. Actually, is there a way you can change the direction things go? Oh, wait, they can squeeze between these little lines here. But I think we can have trucks go between these small lines. All right, but that's not good. Let's let's get rid of this facility. we got to redesign it. We're redesigning it. Now we got bi business is booming. Let's see. Pat platform 30 meter. And me what's the difference? Oh, on the sides. Okay, well, we want a 30 meter. And what we'll probably do is we could probably make an entrance over here and then let the trucks come in from the back and then exit back onto the highway. So let's try to make this all over again. Very important to do this right, I guess. Let's also make extra platforms. Oh yeah, so now we're making it we're making a big O facility. So something like this, maybe? 
Yeah, we definitely want it connecting to the roads. There is an editor to do that in the game, like where you can... You should be able to edit like I did, but I think it's because I built so close to a road that they don't really want you to destroy. Because it's close to the oil facility. So they don't want you touching that, which makes sense. Let's build it right there. Cool. Oh, that, I hope that's not too close. I guess the only way to tell is by editing this. So configure, station entrance. Yeah, I want to be able to enter from like up here, so we should probably build a little further away. That's right, we get a big O refund. We'll claim it on our taxes as a loss. Bum, 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 bum. You're from Detroit, Michigan? Hey, hello. Well, that's good to see you here. Thank you for tuning in. Bum, 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 bum. I would build differently if I if I drove the truck. Yeah, but I'm the one who builds the loading docks, you know? There's always a clash between, like, you know, people who design kitchens and chefs and people who drive trucks and who build, you know, who drive on roads and stuff like that. Okay, we actually want that to be an entrance. So let's get rid of that. That's going to be an entrance. Why did... I can build this as a... Du okay, we'll just build it like that. But we'll make this... An exit, so hopefully they go this way. I don't know why the game's being so picky. But it'll it'll do. But I think the trucks will drive between these two platforms. I think. Is there no way to make that better? I know we're getting kind of nitpicky, but if we set this up right, it'll be super effective in making us a ton of extra money. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. So we'll make a one-way street here. Well, what we could do... No, that's not going to work. I just hope they don't end up going out that way. Bum, 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 bum. This channel is the way? Yes, this, this is the way. Well, we, we certainly don't have the biggest channel, and I don't make the best videos, but we do have the best community, and that's what matters the most. Everybody here is always, always here, always hanging out, always having something kind to say, and I appreciate that, so thank you for the support. Very much so. Okay, I think we're going to make this road curve. So let's make a curvy road this way. Then we probably could have an intersection here for all the trucks to come together. They're going to be going the same way, so... Huh. Move it over just a little bit. Not going to be perfect, it seems, but we can get close. Sometimes that's all it takes. Okay, so now that this facility's back, I think the game's smart enough to remember that this is Fort McMurray Halt, so it'll automatically remember that. Let's make sure the lines aren't broken. Yep, okay, so it remembers. Okay, so we need to take the sidings out and add to this. This is our oil line now. So that's oil for goods there. And then this one's our oil for food. Oh, look at that. Nice. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, what? Okay. Uh, uh oh. Oh, boy. Well, if we fiddle with that anymore, it's just going to cost us millions of dollars to get it right, so we'll fix it later. It's good for now, we'll fix it later. Well, thank you. Juan, you're very kind. Thank you very much for your uh, your kind words. But like I said, that's why we have the best community, because people like you will come in here and just say, hey, thanks for all you do. That's nice. It's nice to have people who are uh, enjoying stuff. Really motivating. Thank you. Oil for food. The oil for food line. There we go. Okay, now we have to buy those trucks again. But I think we got this, boys. I think this will be okay. 
If if this doesn't work out, we can redesign it again later. But we're kind of at the limitation of the game, like kind of snapping to certain points. If this doesn't work, I'll move it over even further, and we'll like flatten this area and make a giant facility. We're gonna make a big O crazy. We're gonna call this the Amazon Distribution Center. That's what we're gonna do. All right, let's buy some trucks. Bum, 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 bum. Where are we going? Greetings from Portugal. Oh, thank you very much, Raphael, for tuning in. Wow, there's a lot of people all over the world watching. I'm totally not nervous at all, haha. <laughs> uh, we bought five trucks. Let's put those on the oil for food line. Okay, boys, I think we're back where we were. Let's see if this works out. Worst case scenario, we'll just well ju we'll just have to redesign it. But I think we'll make do. Uh oh. Oh no, this is good. The truck should come in. Why did they drive to the front? Wait, what? That's weird. What? There should be a way to change how they drive through here, right? Wait a minute. I don't know what they're trying to do. The trucks... Okay, so according to this, the trucks are going to drive in here, circle around, and then go back a one-way. Oh, boy. What we should do is we should have it... We should have the entrance here and the exit here, but... I guess we can't have our cake and eat it, too, sometimes. That's all right. To be honest, we're probably going to end up destroying this anyway and rebuilding it again. So we'll, we'll hit it up in version 3.0. Hello from the Netherlands. Hello. Uh, what is this asphalt here? Oh, it's that one. Okay. Yeah, I tried to do the one-way entrance, but the game won't let me build a one-way there. It's like too small or too big or something. Oh, well. Oil, well. It'll be okay. You can assign a different platform for each. Let's see. Can we do that? Oh, right, right. Okay, that's what I was looking for. I just didn't know you could do it that way. Okay, so let's have platform one and two be... Wait, how do we change that then? So terminal... Terminal one, terminal... Three. Wait, how do I configure these? Wait, what? Terminal four. Oh, it's one per line. Oh, okay. Oh, man, these trucks are going to come this way. I want them to go here and then down that way. If, if I had this road as a one-way, it would allow me to do it, but the game doesn't... Every time we rebuild this, it costs us like a quarter of a million dollars, so... You know. How does the yellow line work? Oh boy. The yellow line is a nightmare. Well, so long as they don't cross against each other too much. That's right. Alright, Chad, I promise we'll rebuild that. We'll definitely redo that for uh, style points. Because I think, honestly, we have to redesign it again anyway for what we're going to have to do next. So if you don't like it, good. Neither do I, because we're going to redesign that. Woo! All right, the trucks are rolling. Wow, look at those trucks coming in, though. Holy crap. Oh, baby. Let's put some uh, trees down. Looks kind of barren out there. Cool. All right, definitely not working the way we want, but we're good. Uh, you can also set waypoints for the lines on the road and, and coming to the station to direct traffic. Oh, you really? You can do that? I didn't know that. All right, we will. This is going to be a mess for now, but we will we will revisit that ASAP and we'll redesign that with the waypoints in mind. All right. In the meantime, we're going to have to build a train here, so we may as well get ready to uh, continue the train line while we wait. So we have our train. Connected to the trucks. 
Oh, there goes the... Oh, did we already make an oil delivery? Oof, that road, though. It's, can you smooth out roads after they're built? Uh, no. Okay. Oh, well. Greetings from Tibet. Wow, we got people from all over the world. That is awesome. We gotta add some more trees. Otherwise, it looks too abandoned. I think they leave a lot of this area blank so you can kind of see where things are easier. And also probably for like PC processing power, that type of thing. Can you build the city? Technically, yes. Like you can, you can deliver supplies and stuff to the city to make it grow. So the city will grow automatically if you supply it with what they need to grow. But And you can build the roads and stuff too. You just can't build like hospitals and... Basically, think of it as like city skylines, except minus the hospitals and schools and water pumps. But then you get to add things like cargo trains, and it's much more important to like deliver stuff like that, you know? Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Somebody in Edmonton is writing about the 7 million construction de debacle at Fort McMurray. All right, well, wait. No, th no, this is perfect, and it, can't, it couldn't be improved at all. No way. Oh wow! Look at look at everybody checking in from all over the world. Yeah, feel free to say hi to chat and let everybody know where you're from. Uh, right now we're playing in Alberta, Canada, and I am from Minneapolis, Minnesota. So welcome everybody. Good to see you all here. I am gonna build myself a train station, or actually let's build a train line now while we wait. So we want to build. I think we should build a train line like. Uh, um, I don't know where I want to do it. If we build the train line here, we could build a large loading facility outside of town. Like, we could have the tra I don't know if I want to do that either. I kind of want to have the train be able to pick up from both of these buildings. Which means I'd probably have to build another road out here and build the cargo station. We'd have to build a tunnel. I don't know. Check. Ooh, boys. Oh. We could put the train under here. Oh, big brain. Big, big brain. Big, big, big brain. Let's go ahead and save real quick. Let's go ahead and call this big brain, kinda, but WTF happened at the loading thing. So, well, okay. That's good enough. All right, let's build some trains. Extra small brain? No, this got to be extra big brain. With like a good dipping sauce. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, we're going to have a big brain train. A train, a, bra a brain so big that a train must be needed to haul the big brain train. Oh boy. Oh, we could make a train tunnel there. Actually, that, that would probably be a good move. Alright, one thing I'm going to do is lower the landscape. One thing I like to do in this game for building trains is, con like, you build the more complicated stuff first, then you connect it all together after you've built through, like, a city or something. How come I can't make this, like, brush really big? Smooth, oh, flatten tool. Oh, I was using the smoothing tool the whole time. Oh, that, that, that worked out. That was fine. We used the flattening tool. Oh, that's fine. Bum, bum, bum. Your Romanian friend is here. Hey, welcome back. Good. Thanks for tuning in, my friend. He said he's my friend. I believe him. Alright, we'll build our train line over here. Oh, that's so cool. You can actually see, like, cars coming through the roads, too. People are driving to work and stuff. Nice. Alright, so we'll build the train through here. And I want to build a bridge, like, right here. So let's try to build this end section of the train, where it's going to come through and go across the bridge. One thing to keep in mind, too, is that the more turns that you have in inclines, the slower the train goes. So we kind of want to keep that to a minimum. Does the bridge support move if we... Oh, that's great. 
Eat your heart out, City Skylines. This bridge actually moves... Oof. The bridge will actually move... That's nice. How do I make a curvy br uh, train line? Although I don't want it to be too curvy. You're from uh, Calgary, Alberta? Ah, well, we're in Alberta right now. Actually, let's make this... I guess we can make this a straight shot to here. There we go. Ah, uh, yep, it's going straight up, so that's... That's one expensive train tunnel, but it's gotta happen. Uh, why can you speak so good Swedish? Min svenska inte bra. Taxamikit. I have Swedish friends. And pick up a lot of Swedish. I think Swedish is cool, so I learned I learned a little bit. Jag talar små svenska. Yeah, City Skylines and also Park Architect and a few other games need the ability to move... Like, where the, where the AI just... I mean, this isn't perfect, like, you can tell with that, but it, at least it tries. Alright, so the train should be able to plow right through. Oh, dude, that is so cool. That bridge isn't... That's not that bad. That's an alright bridge. Uh, into Bro. Okay, let's try to build a train tunnel... I mean, a bridge here. Out of concrete. Actually, I think we should build our station first. Are we delivering goods? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. One thing we forgot to do is now that oil is being delivered. Actually, the trucks are finally starting to arrive after their long drive. We need to actually deliver goods to the town now. So the food processing plant and the uh, goods factory are now making goods and food. So we now need more trucks. Holy crap, that traffic. Whoa. Oh, boy. Well, that's why we're building the train line to bypass that. Okay, we need two new tr uh, lines. We need uh, one line for shipping food to... Actually, we could ship food to Edmonton. Yeah, let's do that. That's close by. We'll do like a local food delivery. And it probably would be a good idea to build a big depot here. We'll just do one inside of town. So now we got to deliver food and goods to Edmonton. And then we can put stuff on the train and ship it back to uh, Fort McMurray, too. Let's build this a little further out like that. That'll be fine for now. Okay, so let's get some local delivery trucks. And I think we'll build another road depot down here, too. I can't remember, chat. Does this game have vehicle breakdowns? Like, do you need to worry about vehicle maintenance, or is it just an expense? Like, vehicles don't have to go back to their depot, do they? Well, let's build this depot somewhere else. Now we'll build it across the street. Mm, I think we'll build it up here, I guess. Never mind. This will just be for the food deliveries. Sorry, are the best best landed? Uh, I I suppose. Okay, so we need two new lines. So line one, and then we can add a third line for only twenty nine ninety five. Okay, let's add trucking area one. Oh, oh. We'll go from the annex to town. Well, actually, we could just have this one line go back and forth and grab stuff. First, it'll go and grab goods from one and then goods to another. That'll be fine. Then eventually we'll have uh, the train line. Maybe we can uh, drive stuff to the train yard and the train can bring up stuff. I don't know. We'll see. We'll figure it out. All right, this one's going to be called Local Delivery Edmonton. Nope. How do you spell Edmonton? E.D. Edmonton. Okay, good. It. Good, it. good, good, good. Well, well. Uh, they do cost more as time goes on if they're not replaced. Oh, yes, yes. Okay. That is correct. Let's do some of these, like, smaller trucks. They don't need to be so big. 
1989, the gas Toplin truck. Isn't gas a Russian brand? Well, we certainly don't need a giant semi truck. So let's just go with like, let's just buy like four of these. That's fine. And let's make these trucks uh, orange. And we'll assign them to the local good for Edmonton. All right, so now that supply chain is complete. We just need it to register now. Oh boy, that traffic though. Oh boy. Well, that's why we're building the train. We gotta bypass that. But also, we'll keep track of our trucks. Okay, so now goods and food will be delivered to Edmonton. And the oil refinery should start putting food down there. Food should start stacking up here as soon as they uh, end goods. Wait, actually, that's bread. So it's not just goods, it's also food. So it's both goods. I, sh I should write that down. I should say, I should say both. And, yep, looks like they're producing goods. There's the goods. All right, perfect. We got it, boys. We might need to buy a few more trucks for the time being. Also, I don't know how many people are actually going to buy that. We should build that a little closer to downtown. Does that actually take goods? Should have built it closer to downtown, I think. Oh, well, let's finish the train line. Bum, 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 bum. You have this game, too, and you love it? It is a good game. It's starting to get a little more complicated. So that's fine. This, this is fine. Let's build our train bridge. No, we want to build our depot first. So we want a two-track, 160 meter. That seems fine. Yeah, 160 meters is the middle line station, so that should be okay. And we'll have the station come over this way. Is it just this one song? Where the hell's the other music? Okay, we'll build a tunnel here. Hopefully that works. Build a little street out front. Uh, let's see. Well, what if I build a road this way? Hmm. Like, I gotta build a road that curves around, I guess. Actually, let's build a straight road in front of the uh, facility. Bum, bum, bum. Turn off the music? Oh, I can't do that. We can't turn it off. No way. Okay, let's see where this connects now. Alright, so it connects to the first facility there. Now we need the road to connect to the machine shop. doesn't connect close enough yet. Hmm. Maybe we can make the road a little closer. We'll just have to build some train tunnels here. Ah, there she goes. Now she's connected. Good. Okay, let's make sure we can make a train line underneath. Should be able to do that. Yeah, if this game had multiplayer, it'd be super cool to be competitive or, or cooperative and work with a friend. Oh, it's, it's trying to go up. There we go. Yeah, we'll have it go down then. We'll be able to make a tunnel here. Worst case scenario, I could delete the road and quickly build a bridge. I think we'll do that. I think we'll, when we're ready to expand the train line, we'll build a 
We'll build a bridge over the train tracks and that'll be fine. I think we can... I think there's a way to customize the soundtrack. Music era de dependent. No, just play any music. There, it should play some other songs now. Tunnel first and then uh, road. I think we'll just build a bridge over it. Because I think a bridge will actually be more affordable. Okay, so the trucks are dropping off goods, but I don't see... I don't know what this town is requ- Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. Hold on. We made a oopsie. So Edmonton will require goods. But they're not they're not accepting food at the moment, so we need to get rid of the uh, the southern line. This can only ship goods so far. So we gotta deliver food up to the Ford McMurray. Otherwise we'll never get the other quest done. Alright, one step at a time. Let's finish up the train line. We're gonna we're gonna deliver this stuff via train, so let's finish up the train line. We're gonna deliver the uh, food via train. The food train. That's gonna be my new mobile app where you can't, you know, you don't order like, you don't order small orders. You have to order like something that can be delivered via a Union Pacific train line. And once you make your order, you know, six to 10 months later, a, a train line will be built out in front of your house and it'll, it'll be delivered soon. You know, so like if in six months you're having a graduation party or a big O wedding, we will deliver uh, a train full of uh, booty. In this case, Wendy's, Arby's, KFC, whatever you want. You know, a good, whatever you want for a good, a good wedding. Them's the good weddings. Okay, so we have bridge one, bridge two. And then we'll swing underneath. Oh, that, that's nice. We wanted to go a little further though. Oh, that should work perfectly. Yep. Beautiful. Damn, it's almost like I planned it or something. It's, it's like I played this beforehand and not look dumb. I didn't. I still look dumb. Okay. Next, we're going to deliver stuff to... I, th I guess what we could do is actually have the, the, the food factory actually deliver down here. We could make a road on the outskirts of town. Or instead of doing that, we could just make a quick little cargo station for the food. That's kind of a temporary thing. Because we're still going to make a bridge across. Because I do want... We're going to make Edmonton, Alaba what is it? Alab Tabasco sauce, and uh, Fort Mc McNugget. We're going to connect all of those via train. 10 tons of fried chicken for dinner. That's right. Smash like if you like chicken. Uh-oh. That's an oops. This game needs like a oopsie button. Okay, let's see. Um, So let's build our bridge, right? Yeah, it's good old... You know, we could also probably build, like, river boats and stuff to go up and down river if we want to. But I think we're good with just trains and trucks for now. Cool. Alright, that looks good. And then I think we're going to make a temporary connection to the food factory over here via the train line. Just so that way we don't have to have trucks truck it into Edmonton just to go back out. That seems unnecessary. We're hearing this on repeat because it was the number one hit in 1998 to 1999. Yeah. Actually, what year is it now? Oh yeah, it's only been a year. Wow, we've done a lot of stuff in one year. Okay, one track, 160. This will just be our temporary connection. What is that? Oh, that's an old connection that I misclicked. The misclick station. So we'll just build that there for now. 
as kind of a siding or a bypass or whatnot. Great. Okay, so now we should be able to deliver food. That means we get a train. So actually, let's put our tra train depot down here. Dude, seriously, why is it playing the same music? Give me other tunes, please. I liked it. Now I'm going insane. Is there, is there any hotkeys? Where's Jessica? Jessica, what are the music hotkeys? Come on. You're, you're a big fan. Please help me. I'm going insane now. Country hillbilly music? Yeah. Okay, we'll just build this at the end of the station here. So, when we make our final station, we'll just leave this here as kind of like some sort of siding thing. And we'll probably build our train station... Maybe we could have it swing around this way. And come into town and, and sit on this road here. Uh, Matai, with the, the 10, shipping to Romania via train takes some 50 years. Oh, good. Well, yeah, you got your order in now for chicken. So we'll get there somewhere between now and the end of the end of the year. Music note at the bottom. Wait, there's a music note? Oh, this <gasps> holy crap yes we got ourselves a new song let's celebrate chat ones in chat if you want to hoe down oh that is there we go hell yeah I feel like we're in a high speed chase though in a pickup truck alright let's buy a train actually let's make a make a line first all right, our first train line. Next member to click or tap join is our train engineer. I'm going to need somebody to drive this train for me. we got to finish the line, though. So next person to become a member. All aboard. Or all are board, maybe. All right, so now let's build the station here. 160 times 2. Looks like all those homes buy food, so let's build our station here. Oh, that's a good spot. Ooh, that is up high. Woo. Oh, thank goodness with the new music. This one's called uh, Don't Forget to Subscribe and Turn on the Notification Bell. Well, I guess we'll just end the train here. Oh, wait, let's build one of these then. Yeah, we can rename our trains and trucks. Remember, CJ, all you had to do is follow the damn train. <laughs> How ironic. CJ is going to follow the damn train. Congratulations. Let's see. Unfortunately, this landscape here is really highly elevated, but if we build it here, that gets us access to downtown McMurray. So, sorry, Canadians. Operation Suri. Gonna have to displace some Canadians, but that's all right. Now we'll build it here. All right, let's build that train line now. Get this thing done. Whoa, that is holy crap! Wow, you have to you have to actually tilt your head all the way back just to see the top of the train station. Whoa. Uh, let's use some of the smoothing tools. This is actually built on top of uh, Mount Timmy's, the highest point in Canada. Well, trying to look, make this look a little more natural. smooth it out. And we will put a bunch of trees down. And that will cover all that area. Perfect. Alright, so where's the train gotta go? There? Okay. 
Whoa. Okay, apparently the Canadians are building a Shinkansen high-speed train outside of uh, McMurray. Oh boy. Hi there, Harry. Well, I guess it'll have to do, but actually this is good, because if we build this train bridge here and we build a highway, we can just have the highway go under the train bridge, so that'll work out perfectly. So that will be fine. Beautiful. Oh man, this is looking good. We're getting there, chat. We're getting there. I think we might have two trains going at some point, so... So we just need to connect over there. I don't want to delete this bridge. Or this, uh, this roadway. Okay. A train roundabout, yeah. Well, this train isn't going to be so complicated. It's only connecting three cities. Oh, look at that. Nice. Okay. Now we just go back up again. Or not, apparently. Oh, hell, we, we could build a tunnel under... Oh, I, I don't want the tunnel the whole way. I want to be able to see the train. But that's the only way to build a tunnel, I guess. Oh boy. Oh, there it goes. We'll just build it on the other side. There we go. Man, we are having ourselves a hoe down. We went from hoe to ho 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 to hoe down. Damn, that's expensive. Yeah. Well, the 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 straighter and the flatter we make the trains, the faster they'll go, and that means more money. So it's it's really an investment, not not an expense. Uh oh. You boo! Don't do that. Don't build that like that. Boys, we almost have ourselves our first train line. Now we just gotta make the train go down. Yeah, I think we gotta build a bridge here. That's right, it'll look cool. So we gotta connect up there. There we go. All right. We've almost spent, we're getting close to spending half the money that we started with, but it's all good. Now let's see if we make a road to the other side here. Oh boy. The next step is to build a train bridge. I mean, a bridge over the train.
Do I want a medium country road? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see. We could have it go around back, but I want to. I want a train bridge. Honestly, oh, oh boy. Support beam literally blocking the tracks. Okay. Ah, <sighs> uh, we'll go with that bridge. That's fine. Okay, that's good. Yay! Cool. That actually looks somewhat decent. This music's uh, an improvement? Okay. The music gets better every time uh, we get more positivity in chat. Your positivity is making the difference. So thanks for being here today, guys. I hope you're all having a good day. We're going to upgrade this road here. Since we probably will have trucks delivered here at some point. We'll go with the small country road here. Nice. That's actually somewhat decent. Really, it's it's beautiful. Operation somewhat decent is almost a kind of success a little bit. Plant all the trees we may have destroyed. All right, there we go. Okay, let's build ourselves a train line now. So, for starters, our train only needs to go from the upper, well, basically the food factory at Al Al Alaska, all the way to uh, Fort McNugget. So we'll go ahead and call this one the, uh, uh, let's see. There we go. The food train. Food. All right, boys. Let's buy ourselves a train. Okay, here's what we're going to do, chat. This is the this is the moment where chat gets to make up a decision. Do you guys want an electric train or a diesel train? One for electric, two for diesel. We'll probably either go with the uh, we'll probably either go with the EMD two, uh, SD40 or the New Haven EPS. Both of them have 3,000 kilowatts, so we'll let chat choose. One for electric, two for diesel. You make the decision. Bum, 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 bum. We will need to buy boxcars for the food and for the goods. So let's buy like four of those to start. Alright, looks like we're buying ourselves a diesel. We can also buy an electric train, so our second train will be the uh, diesel train then, or the electric train. Okay, we're 115 meters long with room for extra, so that's good. We'll start with the four car though to begin. So we'll buy for 19 million dollars. Wow, that is a spendy boy. Alright CJ, hop on board your new train, and away you go. Here she comes. Woo! That's awesome. All right, now we can set this thing up to not leave until it's full. So let's modify some stuff about the route. 
Uh, let's see. So now that the route's set up, it should start to produce food. Let's tell the train not to leave until something is full load any, full load all. Yeah, don't leave until you're fully loaded. Unfortunately, it's going to be a one-way trip for now, but there you go. Okay, we need more trucks on this line, I think. Oil for food, the blue line. How much oil is sitting there? Oh, wow. We need more trucks. Let's buy, uh... Let's buy six more trucks for each line. Let's buy... From our road depot. All right, let's set these three to go for the oil for food line. And these three can be oil for goods. Looks like they're going to need some more trucks. We got to get more people going there. We're going to redesign that line. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, Jessica says, 1,000 viewers. Can we get more likes? Well, that'd be nice. I'd also like more people to follow me on Twitter and stuff because I got all these game keys sitting in my email. I got free games to give away and I just, I don't want them in my email anymore. So hopefully somebody will, will follow me so I can give away free stuff. I'm like Mr. Beast, but like, you know, but not. Wait, these are the... All right, this is a new song, I think. Is this the, uh, what's that band called? Uh, Trampled by Turtles, is that? Oh my god, look, whoa. Okay, we definitely need to build a roundabout. Oh, let's let's connect uh, other roads. I forgot we could do that. Yeah, apparently we have Rascal Flats going on in here. Yeah, we'll just get other ways to go into town. I should actually make a roundabout. Yeah. Boy, look at that. Whew. Yo! That's crazy. 70 people now following via Twitter. Thank you very much for following me. I only talk about games and food anyway, so if you love games and food, you're going to love my Twitter. Andrew Martin, welcome aboard. We're going to get you on board a truck here very soon, Andrew. Or a train, whichever you prefer. Thank you very much for your support. Let's go ahead and uh, make this thing not look like a, some sort of like medieval fortress or something. Flatten that land out. There we go. And we'll do a little smoothing too. Ah, there we go. Doesn't it look nice? Oh, the train's moving. She must be full. What? Wait, why is it trying to haul construction materials? Wait, what? I told you not to leave until you're full. And you're at the food factory. Weird. All right, we need to wait to get around town, but I don't know if I build a highway. I don't. I don't think our people are going to be smart enough to. Well, actually, it's not that bad. Well, that's bad. Oh, is that bad? Whoa. Okay, time to build another road. Wow, now it's really become like a city builder for real, though. Although I don't think like trucking companies are in charge of like building roads themselves, you know. Uh, thanks again, guys, for all the support. Guys and gals from all over the world, thank you for hanging out with me today. Bum, 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 bum. 
Could a passenger train relieve automatic traffic? Um, I think yes, but also no. I don't, I don't know if people would get on a train to go between these two towns. I, I don't know exactly where they're going. We'll have to do research on that. It could. It actually could work. That's a, that's big brain. Let's make a parallel road here to the train station. Train line. I'd love to stay and watch, but I got the urge to play the game myself. You know, you can do both. Absolutely, you can keep a window open on your tablet or on your phone while you play. Just watch me so you know what not to do. Absolutely, make sure that you don't make any mistakes by watching me. You just do the opposite and you're good. Okay, let's build up here. Wow. One minute we're like designing the oil fields of uh, Alberta, and uh, next minute we're like alleviating traffic between Edmonton <laughs> and uh, Alabasca or whatever. Athabasca. Chicken basket. Chicken tenders. All right. We got to make a road over here. Boy, we can make that roundabout a few more lanes. Oh, city skyline syndrome. Everybody's in one turn lane. Well, uh, welcome to city skylines, everybody. Good to see you all here. We're, we're, we were playing uh, Transport Fever a moment ago, but apparently this is now city skylines. I guess we'll build it here. Maybe we can get some people to actually... What if we make a bypass to the tunnel? Ooh. Hold on, let's do both. Oh, that looks really cool. I'm going to keep that just because that looks cool. Raptor is like Bob Ross, says Deck Ape. Thanks for the five, dude. Well, chat's, chat's like Bob Ross, too. Beautiful and talented and positive. Oh, dude, this song is great. I think this is that new Post Malone, the, the kitties like. Ah, oh, there we go. Well, it's going to be weird. There's an exit inside here, but apparently, apparently this is now New York City. But uh, Alaska's got that new oil money, so I mean, uh, Canada has got that new oil money, so maybe we can get them to bypass the uh, roundabout completely. Well, I, I could make this a one-way way road, couldn't I? We could just make this a one-way highway that comes out here. Oh no! Now traffic's a problem both ways. Well, we'll see what happens. We'll keep an eye on it. All right. Are we delivering goods yet? Apparently, we haven't delivered any goods. Help the town grow. Oh, we have to do it to Fort uh, McMurray. Okay. So, we will just switch. Now that we built the train, we'll just switch everything to deliver here to the, uh, to the road depot. And this will work just fine. Okay, let's switch the one line. The local goods to Edmonton. We're going to not go to Edmonton anymore. And we're going to ship to the train. Okay. So now we're going to send these trucks. Trucks from down here are going to go up here. And we should have a food line going too, right? The blue line. No. Wait. Okay, we're going to change the train then. Uh, well, yeah, okay. Although, if I don't do that, we won't have a use for the trucks. 
So go here instead. So we'll build another line. Another one. Which is okay, because we have a road here, so that'll be fine. Bum, 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 bum. What's that? Only 50% of the people watching right now are subscribed to the channel? That Wait a minute, that doesn't sound right. Chat, does that sound right to you? Is that... Okay, I, yeah, I guess that's an accurate count. Wow. Well, hopefully we get some more subscribers soon. That'd be cool. Alright, we gotta deliver here. Let's build another line. So this is the goods to Fort McMurray. Let's do a new line. Food to Fort McMurray. Good. We'll just do like four trucks or something. And we'll buy... How many are on the other line? We got four trucks on that one. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, do you have to set your train to unload and not pick up at your destination? Um, I guess it'll it'll work itself out once we start delivering the right goods here in a second, I think. Need to buy some more trucks, though, so it does what I want. All right, let's go with four. And we'll go to food to Fort McMurray. I made it a little unnecessarily complicated, but it'll look cooler that way with more vehicles and roads. Oh, the train like stopped in the middle of nowhere. Like, I don't know where you want me to go, Chief. All right, uh, let's send you to depot first. We'll send the train to the depot and then get it all sorted out. All right, let's add some more trees. Along the old highway here. So then we can also modify... So now that the train's set to boxcars, I think all three of these goods, the, uh, the food, the goods, and the bricks can all be loaded onto this train. And if we have to go further... We can send the train down here, but this will also be our maintenance yard, so not everything's... Because we don't really have a lot of space here, so this is a good way to get everything out of there. All right, we're almost there. Yes, absolutely. We're, we're almost there. There goes the trucks. Loaded with uh, no goods at the moment. Let's make sure we're delivering that oil. Oh, yep. Yeah, oil's being delivered. How are we doing? Are, are we delivering enough oil yet? Damn, there's still a lot of oil there. We need more semi-trucks. Alright, let's buy some more semi-trucks for line... Uh, what is? What are the two lines we want? Uh, yellow and blue. So let's buy like... Four more trucks for each. There we go. Got to keep moving more of that Earl. One thing we could do, too, is we could just go completely with trains. Well, not completely, because we do need the bus service going, but... You like the videos? Thank you very much, Mihai. Thank you. Is traffic better now? Let's see. It's probably still pretty rough. But it's crawling. Uh, nobody's taking the bypass. We could tell our trucks to take that bypass, though. According to chat, there is a way to bypass. We could add a waypoint. I also could upgrade the roads into town. It's all because of this stop sign here, I guess. How about airplanes? Yeah, we should ship each barrel of oil via an aircraft. That would be... That would be big brain. Looks like everybody's getting stopped in town. Man, I'd like it if the trucks were to find a way around here. We could actually upgrade this road to go this way. Let's do that. I would build more roundabouts too, but... 
Well, let's see if they actually use these routes, and if they do, then we'll modify for a roundabout later. Is that roundabout right? Oh, it looks like some trucks are starting to take... Oh, yeah, all right. People are starting to figure it out. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. How do we put down, like, a waypoint to buy... To, like, get around this? Is there a way to do that? Yeah, because otherwise the trucks are just getting stuck in... Well, wait a minute. The traffic's actually letting up a little bit. All right, let's see if our train's ready to go. The train was the biggest project. Where did that train go? Oh, you're right. I sent him to the depot. All right, let's get that thing ready. Train is in the depot. Forgot. Food train. Add to food train line. Go. Yeah, that should be everything we need, I hope. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, wait, the trucks are using the bypass. Oh, good. Our truckers are smart. Yep, they're taking the new road. All right, good. Completely bypasses the town. All right, we're good. Yeah, that's totally worth it. I think the town will be happy too. It takes, it alleviates traffic in the town by getting rid of the trucks, and it'll make traffic better here too. So, all right. But the tunnel is absolute hell. Why is there so? Oh, I guess it's the only road between these two cities. So, that's why we want to build the highway. So, in retrospect, we should build a highway between these two. But regardless, the trucks are rolling again. Bum, 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 bum. And then we'll probably build some roundabouts later. Oh, yep. The, looks like the oil is starting to get taken pretty quickly. Good. All right, I think we got everything we need. Now, what about the train? Okay, is the train loaded up with what it needs? So the train's just going to keep running back and forth until supplies are dropped off, but these trucks should be smart enough to drop things off here. So I, I think the game's smart enough to... Like, it should drop off the supplies here, and then they should auto-spawn here on the cargo platforms, and then should be taken to town, I think? Bum, 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 bum. We need more roundabouts? Yeah, I agree. I also need more uh, Old Humble Distilling Company uh, Special Blend Whiskey, that's for sure. That should be a perfect area here for a roundabout. And, uh... Are they... T is there a tunnel here? Oh, yeah, underneath. I wonder if I could do another roundabout under the ground. They, they actually have, like, roundabouts in uh, Norway that are underground. That's crazy. Oh, wow, look at the... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I didn't expect that much traffic. All right, note to self. Next time we play... Highways all the way. Unfortunately, we can't build there, though, because of the factory. But we could have a bypass here for the trucks passing through. Oh, man, we're going to have to build roundabouts everywhere. Yeah, we could set the line to wait before leaving the station. However, I noticed the train left previously before having the cargo that it needed anyway, so I don't know. It's okay if it's running. We're still waiting for the first of the supplies to arrive. Oh, here they are. So this truck's loaded up with four goods. So they should drop off those goods. And then they should go to the station. Which, yep, looks like the goods are there. 
Although I don't know why it's two. I must have delivered some to the city. Which is okay because we get money for that. No, it doesn't look like any buildings in town are buying up. Oh well, it'll take a little bit of time, but we got it set up. And then we'll just balance the correct number of trucks out that we need for local deliveries. All right, well, traffic's flowing again. Oh, I don't see any major traffic hang-ups now. Oh, no. There's a traffic light at the roundabout? Okay, well... All right, hopefully that's working. Well, if anything, it's it's not perfectly efficient, but it is beautiful, and I do like that more than efficiency sometimes. Sometimes you just kind of have to... Like, it's not Factorio. Sometimes, you know, you just got to build things to be beautiful, you know? Working on style points. You have this music stuck in your head? Okay, let's change to a different song. Why is it just these ones? Oh, there we go. All right, finally, we got some new music for y'all. Yo, know, thanks again, everybody, for subscribing today and hanging out if, if you did that. I just wanted to say thanks for an awesome year on the channel. It's been a tough year out there for many other reasons, but things have been pretty good in the channel because of your guys' positivity and support. So thanks for always dropping by, saying hi, notification bell, smashing like, uh watching the videos in general. Whatever you do to support me, thank you. What happened to the banjo? Uh, he retired. We, we, His name was Joe and we banned him. We banned Joe. And now, we have some other music. I guess this, this is hits of the 90s, Canadian style. These are looking good. We'll probably have to deliver stuff to Edmonton soon, so we'll we'll come back here and revisit the traffic problem, although I'm not the mayor of that city. That's their problem. Okay, let's see if food and... Uh... Oh, yep, food and goods are being delivered. Fantastic. Now, where's the train? Oh, it's in the tunnel. Nice. Um, Stellaris? Nope. We haven't done that yet. Maybe one day. Good. Now we'll work on increasing efficiency, but the next goal has been complete. There goes the train. Uh, how do you clap on stream? You should be able to follow the link in the description to uh, spend dino dollars. Points that you get for just watching the stream for free that you can spend to play funny sound effects like, Oh my god, mom made pizza rolls. And wow. All right, so the train is trucking. Wow, this YouTuber sucks. Mom, where's my hot pocket? Yeah, there's that one too. Oh, you can actually see the train losing speed a little bit. So we'll probably build a second train shortly. So that way we can have a continuous flow of supplies. Man, that's like the biggest drive out of there. Very nice. How do I use dino dollars? Check down below in the description. So we're carrying seven food and six uh, goods. So we should be able to have two trains on this line at some point. 
No, not that again. There we go. Yes, now we're uh, keeping it cool. So it looks like, yep, oil's being converted into chicken nuggets as quickly as possible. And the train is about to arrive. There it comes. Dude. Bum, 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 bum. Is that a tree floating in the middle of nowhere? Oh no, it's just there. Okay, well. Yeah, we'll set signals for a second train, but we don't have to do that now. It will be something we do eventually. This one's actually, this mission takes a while to do, but it's uh, it's really fun. Like, it's trucks and trains, but you don't have to do... Uh-oh. Roundabout, but also traffic lights. Environmental protection organizations are protesting against mining the tar sand for oil, which is legitimate, of course. Everyone has the right to freedom of speech and expression. It goes without saying that your company is aware of its responsibility and doing everything in its power to keep harmful impacts to the lowest possible level. You even volunteer to go the extra mile to show that you take environmental issues seriously. The environmental impacts of mining tar sands for oil are extremely minimal. Nonetheless, and without being called upon to do so, your company has committed itself to take additional measures, because responsibility is its guiding principle. Uh, no, that's called marketing. Whenever you're criticized from an outside source as a corporation to do the right thing, you then say you do it with pride that you're uh, doing it to be responsible, but basically you turn it into a positive marketing spin in order to further increase profits. Good. Very good. All right, find out what actions can be taken at the sedimentary ba uh, basin, the river... And in the town of Tabasco Sauce. Okay. What can we do in town? Chiefs of the local native clans have criticized mining tar sands for oil in the past. As a token of its goodwill, your company helps to supply the local community with essential goods. Earn money by transporting goods. You got it. That's not a problem. What else? Your company monitors closely with regard to any environmental impacts. The healthy fish in the Athabasca River offer proof of the always impeccable readings. Uh, catch a fish in the marked area. Oh, we got to catch a fish to do experiments? There we go. This specimen presented deviates minimally from the norm. That's completely normal and no cause for alarm. Another animal is supposed to be examined as proof. Okay. Uh, catch another fish upriver. All right, we got we're going fishing now. Wow, it's like Stardew all over again. A number of petrified bones were discovered by chance while mining the tar sand oil reserves. Stop work for the time being to find out what it's all about. Okay. Apparently, the bone fragments found deal with a well-preserved dinosaur skeleton. A team of scientists want to take a closer look at it. You have offered your help with the excavation work. Wait, we got to do a couple of things here. The readings make it clear that things couldn't be better. Oh, now we're getting Slightly busy. Increased levels of some substances lie within the tolerance range. The wastewater from oil production is stored in settling basins. They are absolutely leak proof. But in order to allay even the last fears out there, your company has decided to install additional seals. What about dolphins? Okay, we got a lot of business to do, boys. Let's stop time and do one at a time Excellent. here. 
click or tap the join button next to the subscribe button now. All right, I need more members. I need more people to click or tap join. I got I'm, I got openings for truck drivers at all these locations. We need to start. We got to start shipping all sorts of things around here. We got to go for. Uh, Let's see, we need to start shipping stuff to this town to make money, so goods have to come here. Ooh, look at all the bread waiting here. Okay, so we gotta get more... We're gonna buy some more basic trucks. Let's buy six more of each. Is that six? Yes, no. Okay, we'll set that to the uh, food. Alright, good. We got plenty of trucks for members. We'll set the next one to goods. Good. If I install seals, polar bears will come? I hope not. Okay, the next thing we need to do is get trucks back here again to deliver plastic and back and forth. So this road's about to get a lot busier. Oh boy. Alright, so one thing at a time. We're gonna support the local community by delivering stuff to town here. So let's make it like a truck stop somewhere. We'll do a small line. So we'll do we'll do a little little truck line here of like two trucks to make money for us. Actually, we could probably do a semi truck for it, and then put the semi truck on something else later. So let's make a special line. We'll call this one uh, Native People Native Peoples because we're we're doing this for them. Um, community. All right, we're doing a like, trucking line for the native people. So for them, we shall deliver extra. Oh boy, we're gonna have to make we're gonna have to modify these stations, I think. Oh, let's buy a semi for them. So let's buy another big O semi. Let's paint it green and send it to the Native People Community line. All right, that's, that should be taken care of over time. All right, we gotta catch another fish. I'm Sorry, Chad, I'm going fishing right now. Does anyone in chat have any fish? We need some for sampling. Does anyone have any fish I can borrow for sampling? Need to find some fish. Well, there's fish there. Oh, I guess we just got to click the question mark. Okay. All right. Oh, now we got to dig up bones. That'll be. We'll do the the, the good old fashioned bone dig later. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and seal the settling basin. This one's going to be a little more complicated. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to deliver oil to the thing and then send it back. No kings, go fish. I see. No fish for me. What? Maybe I should have put in an order for fish fillet with my train line. Okay, so now what we're going to do is bring oil here. Looks like we got plenty of oil. So we got to bring oil from here to there so they can make plastic basins and then we have to bring it back. Oh, up here actually. So these trucks are delivering machine parts. Oh. Let's change the machine part line. We'll probably have to do that later. We'll change that line now. Uh, we'll change oh this from... Oh my god, this YouTuber needs to go to jail. Cops are on the way, guys. There we Don't go. worry. Okay, so we'll set it to this to pick up plastic and then bring it up here. So the plastic line is done. 
But I, I think we need a second line. How have I been? Good. How are you, chat? Yeah, the game is paused. But that's okay. We're just setting up lines. Well, well we could build another truck station. Yeah, that would probably alleviate a lot of the pressure on the uh, main line there. Uh, unfortunately, it's a prohibited area. We can't build over there. We need that Earl, though. Yeah, we can't build anywhere on those lands. But we can build over here. So we'll build this just specially for the uh, oil. Things are about to get a little busier, so let's upgrade roads. Unfortunately, we can't. Oh well, there's not going to be too many more trucks. Should make things easier, though, to build a separate train line, you know? Can you do a sandlot style in this game? Uh, everything seems to be asphalt if you build that way. This should connect, though, if I build a road. Oh, it's prohibited. We gotta build it, like, here. So we'll just build a little line. I don't know why it keeps going for that banjo music. Like, it won't play the full list. We'll just have to do it manually. That's fine. Yeah, the game can be picky sometimes where you build, but it's not... It's not too bad. You just, sometimes you just gotta, like, make it work, you know? Okay. Bom, bom. Not letting you join? Uh, there should be a link pinned to the top of the chat. We have our, well, we have ourselves a giveaway today, so if you want to be eligible for it, uh, we will be doing a giveaway in the Discord, and also in the members-only section of the Discord, too. So if you're... Not yet a member. Today might be a good day to look into becoming a member. Well, this will be cool. I like that. That looks nice. All right, let's do a separate line for shipping back oil. This is connected too, so we'll need an oil line here. But I think I'll buy a couple of trucks just for this specific line. I need more truck drivers. I need more volunteers. There we go. Love buying the semis in this game, though. It's so cool to see the Canadian trucking industry. And that'll be line one, which we will rename. We will rename this one. Uh, let's see. Oil to plastics factory. Nice. All right, so we should see vehicles arriving here shortly. Wow, look at those big old trucks. Them some big boys right there taking all them oil sands. Ooh. Hey, Jerry, thanks for dropping in. Bum, 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 bum. How do we run the giveaway? Well, make sure you subscribe and get on our Discord, and uh, we'll share some more information after the stream. Typically, sometimes I do giveaways on Twitter. Sometimes I just randomly drop keys. Other times I'll randomly drop keys in our uh, members' chat, but a lot of the times I'll let members know, hey, I'm going to do a giveaway, and then I'll, I'll drop some keys to let people know in advance. So make sure if you haven't become a member, today is the day. Lots of extra perks for becoming a member, so. Hi, this is cool. I'm a little behind on games to watch right now. I uh, recommend Before We Leave on the Epic Game Launcher. Before We Leave. Oh, yeah, that game. Yeah, Before We Leave is a great little city builder. Thanks for the suggestion. Yeah, what else would you guys suggest for chat for, uh, for, the, for the Steam sale that's going on? 
And for the Epic Store games, what would you guys recommend? Like, if, if you were to suggest one game for me to buy for the Steam sale, what, what would you suggest to me in chat? What's a, what's a good game to get on Steam? Like a highly rated game. Yo, Brett Smith, thanks for becoming a Raptor Egg. We need you in that in that driver's seat, my man. Thank you very much for being a part of the trucking company. Welcome to the convoy. Space Haven, good one. Marmella with the Tree Fitty. Uh, this game is more dodged than burnt fish fillets. Yeah, we, ha we certainly have some fish fillets out there. All right, so we're working on three goals now, earning money. Oh, we're, we actually already made like $25,000, good. Or wait, is that, wait, that's 100,000. Oh yeah, okay, so we, we, we're about half, over halfway, or approaching it halfway. Plastic we're working on, and we need to start the archeological dig. So let's go to the dig site and start digging. I think I remember this one. I think we need to bring scientists over here at some point. So let's start digging. Let's see. Oh, I found a penny, an old penny. That's good. And what do we got in here? All right, let's see. Transport the research team to the dig site to help them with the excavation using the smallest terrain tool. Oh, well, that's done. We did the excavation. Now we got to transport them here to the dig site. So now we got to get like a private bus. We got to build a private road to go out there. Oh boy. All right, let's build a little custom road to go out there. All right, we did the supporting the community goal. That'll make us some money on the side. Build a nice little windy road back here. So the bus can get back here. All right, who wants to be on the research team? Anybody interested in being a scientist? Oh, I went back to that other song, didn't it? I don't know why it keeps like choosing three songs. Let me see if I switch something here. Music era dependent. No. Yeah, I don't... Oh, whatever. I guess we'll just change it manually. Ah, oh, that'll look good. Okay, that's nice. A little road going to the old research site. Can you join the Discord? You can. Links are in the description. Got a wonderful community. Don't join for me. Join for our community. We got some good big brains in our community who uh, know quite a bit about this game and many more. Okay, so we just need to bring, like, some scientists there? Okay. Well, I guess we'll just pick a random bus stop. Maybe the one in downtown. And we'll bring them to the old archaeological dig site. Cool. Okay, so we want the science science line. Don't I have a depot somewhere? Oh, I guess, yeah. We have this depot that we use. Alright, let's buy a small little little charter bus and we'll assign that to the line okay scientists should be taken care of soon now we just need to deliver plastic is that actually taking place 
plastic is there. I do have a truck line delivering plastic, don't I? Or did I not set that up yet? Oil two plastics. I think we need to set up a plastics line. Or no, we already did that. That was the machine line. Machine parts line is now the plastics. And they should be delivering here now. Oh, they're still set for machine parts. Oh, looks like there's plastics in storage. They must have just got their first delivery. Ba -ba -ba. Uh, we're playing with mods off. This is just the vanilla game, and man, is it awesome. Yeah, we're just playing the campaign. And I'm really liking it. Really wish we could build custom buildings and stuff around there. Alright, Road Vehicle 2 has room for 30. It should change for plastic parts now, right? Oh, did I, did I miss... Did I misspell plastics? Pl 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 plastics. There we go. Ah, there it goes. Bad boys loaded up with 12 out of 30. Good. All right. Good. Bom, 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 bom. Well, I appreciate that. Thanks for your compliments, Chad. I see some people being awfully nice in chat. Thank you. The world needs a little bit more positivity. We don't have to criticize everything. We are—we already know some things are dumb and w weird and silly. Oh, I wonder if we can build planes. Ah, oh, we can actually build an airport if we want. Cool. We can have direct flights between uh, Fort McMurray and uh, Edmonton. The flight time is like six seconds. By the time the plane got off the ground, it'd be time to prepare for landing. Okay, so research team needs to be driven over to the site. Let's see if they get there soon. Where's that bus? Oh, there it is. Nobody on board yet, but soon. Maybe we can expand the science line. There, we'll have it do multiple things. Yeah, the banjo, yeah, apparently the Canadians keep trying to play the banjo music. Oh, look at all the stuff waiting for the train. Where's the train now? Let's see if we can find the train. Oh, there it is. I see it. Wait, no, I don't. I thought I saw it underground. There it is. So the train can haul 20 food and 60 goods. So we should make the train a little longer. Is there any natural disasters in this game? Uh, there are missions, I think, where you have to clean up after natural disasters. And there's actually building of uh, national monuments, I think, in the other game you build the... Is it this game or the previous one where you get to build the Panama Canal? I think it's the other game in Transport Fever. But I would highly recommend this game, because you do build, like, giant hydroelectric dams and airports. There are some national monuments and, like, big build projects to do in the game. Pretty cool. Yep, our schedule for what we're doing next on the channel is down below in the description. But despite all your persistent efforts to raise environmental standards, public pressure on the oil industry is on the rise. The company faces a crucial decision. It might be advisable to take advantage of the current dynamic and develop new fields of business in the green economy sector.
Uh-oh. On the other hand, the projections for anticipated earnings in the tar sands business have never been better. Invest in expanding the tar sands industry or switch to alternative branches of business. Oh, we got to make a decision. All right, hold on. All right, Chad, I'm going to let you make the decision. Do we? Uh, do you guys want to do alternative stuff, or should we stay in the oil business? One to switch to alternatives. Two to keep it keep it going in the oil business. Actually, I will make a poll in the chat right now, and we can do that. All right, vote now on chat. You should see a poll popping up. Let's see if it works. All right, vote now. What should we do? Should we switch to alternatives or should we keep on drilling? Now, while we wait, we're still waiting for the... Uh, research team to be transported so hopefully they'll be there soon let's see where is that transport bus one 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 go green for the bears says marmello well there you go influencing a little bit with his campaign he's lobbying for uh going green all right where's our bus to get around the fact that parts of the forest have fallen victim to tar sand extraction. Naturally, you're going to campaign for suitable compensation measures on behalf of the company. Wow, look at all the oil stored there. Apparently that's the Main Street stop. Wow. Let's see if we can pe pick people up from the annex. There we go. All right, let's see. Well, let's do a si side task. What a successful reforestation project. You can't see the forest for all the trees anymore. Oh, okay, we planted some trees. That must have been from before. I must have already auto-completed it by all the planting I was doing ahead of time. Okay. All right, still waiting on chat. Do we do we drill for that Earl, make big money, or should we be uh, big brain and try to sell other things like uh, phones or something? We'll see. Just gotta wait for that research team to get delivered. All right, thirty seconds, and then I'll call the I'll call the vote. Vote now, everybody watching. Make sure you uh, tab back in and quick vote. We'll let you guys pick. Oh man, the music changed again. There we go, that's a good one. All right. I'm ending the uh, thing here in about 30 seconds. Last chance to vote for alternatives or oil. I think one is way more interesting than the other, but I can't remember which one it is. But once we make a decision, we'll pick and we'll save. And if it's dumb, then we can always switch back. Where's that research team, man? Zero out of 13. There's nobody on that line? Take a team from the fort. It's like Church Street. Right, let's keep the Church Street stop. 
modify the line. I guess it's just going to be random whether or not somebody wants to go to the to the old dig site. Go green for the future. Uh, it's the future. Okay, apparently, apparently we're going green. Mr. Marmello again campaigning to go green. We'll make our decision once we finish up with the science team. Is there anybody on board that bus? No? I don't know what to... Do I need to build this somewhere else? Uh, bus station. Well, it's supposed to connect to these buildings here. Maybe I need to build the road closer? No? Oh, it's supposed to connect there in the front. Okay, hold on a second. Looks like we're supposed to connect on this side. Hold on. So now it should it should register now. Yeah, there's little pathways and stuff popping up. Okay. So we'll build it back this way. There we go. Uh, we'll move this bus stop to the other side. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, where's the bus stops? There we go. That's what we want to do. Okay, so let's change from Main Street to King's Road. Wow, we have a new high-speed train available. Fine, right, let's add some trees back. Yeah, we'll make our decision as soon as we're done with the current quest we're on, which is to basically deliver a bunch of scientists to this site here. There we go, that seems to connect to the front of that. All right, that should work. Yeah, that looping looks cool. Science dig site now pulling people from Church Road to Kings Road. Somebody actually waiting for that line. Oh, there we go, finally. Somebody from the science team is finally going. All right, as soon as that's done, we're on to our next mission. Which is deciding are we going to drill or do we do alternative uh, methods of profit? We'll have to figure out soon. Soon. You can actually see the city expanding a little bit, too. Looks like they built up from all the people coming into town. Yeah, from what I remember, I think the alternatives actually gives you something cool. Like, I think the alternative is more interesting, but oil could be cool, too. We won't have to do much to change. However, I, I think what's scripted to happen is that we're supposed to, no matter what, I think we switch to alternatives, but I don't remember. So we'll make our decision here in just a minute, as soon as this is done. All right, let's go, let's go ride on the bus for a while. Let's go find out where that bus is. There we go. All right, we'll be there soon. Now, don't say I don't ever take you anywhere, chat. We're actually going on a field trip. Does everyone have their permission slip? One in chat if you have your permission slip today. And $5 for parking, except it's not for parking. It's for Wendy's. And by five, I mean 25. All right, we're almost there. 
Oh, I'm getting closer to 10,000 followers on Twitter. I should do a big giveaway if we get to like 7,000. All right, everybody watching now, if you don't have a Twitter, make one and follow me, and I'll do another giveaway if we hit uh, if we hit 7,000 followers. I only need like 200. So if everybody watching now becomes a uh, big O uh, follower, then we have ourselves a, another giveaway, another one. Are we going to the glue factory? No, I want. Well, I mean, you can eat glue if you want, but I'm I'm going to the Wendy's. <laughs> All right, it's like a summer camp movie. This summer, Chat goes to camp. Are we there yet? Oh, finally. All right, we get to make our decision. It looks like Chat wants to drill. Last chance to vote. Can you pull over? I got to pee. Oh, come on, we... Yay! ...with the only completely intact specimen of the genus Borealopelta from the, the suborder Ankylosauria found until now. Fascinating. Uh, reforestation. I think I already did that. Cool. Uh, what now? I think this is glitched. We already did the forestation. And I can't confirm that one. That's weird. Wait, start the archaeological dig. Oh, we already did that. Okay. Well, let's make our decision. Chat wants to drill, it seems. So we'll keep on the oil thing. We'll save here just in case it's a trap or something. All right. Chat wants to drill. Let's do it. Thanks, everybody, for voting. I'll end the, uh, I'll end the vote now. Which, no, back to the oil business. 202 people voted. And apparently we're going for drilling. The right decision. The demand for oil hasn't let up. The prices are rocketing. And someone has to take care of extraction and production. What's more, if it weren't for the oil business, the Canadian economy would fall apart. Uh, my time at Porsche. Yeah, yeah that was uh, free on the Epic Game Store. It is the full game, but it is not a multiplayer game. But it is a good game. I would recommend that game and also uh, Stardew Valley if you like those types of games. Okay, chat wanted to stay in the Earl business, so let's get that Earl pumping. We've got to deliver machines to the refinery. So we got to make a delivery up here now. So let's have those trucks that were hauling plastic. Actually, no, we're still making money from plastic, right? Or no, let's just... Let's switch those trucks back. So the ones that are delivering plastic... Let's have them go back to delivering machine parts again. So plastic... Go to... Back here again. Back to the machine line again. I think if we switch to alternatives, we uh, have to delete everything and like start building like a, I don't know, high-speed train lines or airplanes or something. I, I don't know what it leads to. Yeah, apparently we need a banjo factory. Yeah, keep forgetting to change the music. Okay, so now it's time to deliver machines. So we're switching back to machines and they're being delivered. Oh, I have to change the delivery point too. There we go. All right, so what a find. Apparently we found, I think that's glitched. Yeah, we already did reforestation. Let's decline it. Well, I already got the achievement for it, so. Okay. All right, back onto the main uh, objective. Deliver machines to the refinery and invest, whoa, a, tr a trillion dollars into modern equipment? I don't know what that means. I don't know how to invest. 
I have to buy it? Yeah, I think I think I glitched it. Um, because we accepted it before maybe, I don't know. It's okay. I think I'm still using the press version of the game that I got when it came out, so... I don't know. Any glitches are probably on my end. It's all good. How come you can't send a $1,000 Super Chat? Well, you could send two $500 Super Chats. Or you could send one big O Super Chat via the PayPal link down below in the description if you want to. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, so now we just gotta wait for the machines to get delivered. So how's that going? Oh, yep, there's a machine sitting there. All right, that's gonna take some time. Invest in modernization. What does that mean? Deliver machines to the refinery and invest in modern equipment. Oh, pay now. Oh, I didn't see the pay now button. Oh, so we need to get, uh... We need to get a... Oh, boy, it'll actually take all of our money. Oh, boy. Is that, is that say, 100 million? I can't... I'm, I have difficulty reading those numbers without commas. Oh, that's 10 million. Okay, we're good. Marmello, the planet uh, is doomed. I'm out. Shame, shame about the Baltimore. Oh, uh, it's okay, actually. I think, I think even if we invest in oil, we'll have to switch later. So it was more like a, you could switch now, or you could switch later. We're not going to be able to make money forever in oil. Okay, so we paid the uh, $10 million. Now we just need to deliver the machines. Ken, thanks for subbing. Welcome again to all the new subs. If you haven't subbed, remember to subscribe so you can win our giveaways and stuff. If you're not subscribed, you will miss out on all of our giveaways on the channel. Chad gets the best giveaways, so make sure you do that. Sam is leaving. I see. Thanks for dropping by, my dude. Okay, more roads. More trees, more bridges. Yeah, we have our Bob Ross emote. That's a good reason. Wow, look at those big old trucks, man. Bringing back all them Earl Sands. For processing. Alright, hopefully we're done delivering machines soon. Nothing else for us to do at the moment. Hmm. How are we doing on the supply lines? Oh, goods are getting backed up. Let's buy a few more goods trucks. Okay, let's buy some more goods trucks. traffic though okay so we have a few more trucks to deliver oh actually this is the uh, native native community line Despite all the activities towards sea oh, that's all right there's still lots of stuff there don't seem to be functioning properly see to it that the wastewater can be disposed of elsewhere secretly dispose of wastewater in one of the lakes oh that's great now we're a real corporation. Good. Well, now we're getting now we're getting scammy. Oh wow! You guys really want that giveaway? Tons of new subs. All right, let's build a road from here to there. We got to make a secret road. Chat, no one tell anyone. Ra Raptor, hush. 
We have some sort of emote like that. Nobody tell. I don't want no. I don't want no snitches. Don't you tattle on me, chat. Don't none of you tell Justin Bieber what I'm doing. Don't you tell. Where do we have to go over there? Okay. Okay, so we got to go back this way. Pretty sure Justin's a member. He, w Justin Bieber wouldn't wouldn't click or tap the join button. He's not that cool. All right, how much do we have to deliver? Secretly dispose of wastewater. Oh, 60. All right, we can buy a smaller truck for that. Do we have any fuel um, smaller trucks that can do this? This is gonna be our secret line. Oh, I have to build a, a little disposal area down here. Wow, you guys really want them giveaways, I see. Really? Okay, we're going to have to disguise this as a Tim Hortons. Okay, this has got to be secret, so we gotta we gotta be very hush hush. Don't you tell anybody, chat. Don't you snitch on me. Don't you tell Susan what I'm doing. Okay, perfect. No one will know what's here. Busy night, indeed, Amanda. It certainly is. All right, I think we only have one tanker truck that we can buy. Oh, no, we can buy this truck here. This can haul 16. All right, I need two people to click or tap join to be my secret drivers. I need two people who can keep a secret. I think we'll buy this tank truck. Only room for two, though. name this line we're gonna go ahead and call this one the uh, good since we've labeled it not a crime no harm done okay we're gonna buy two more trucks Oh, we already got the trucks. Assign them to the line. Good. This is totally fine. Good. I think that's glitched still. Yep. Alright, now we just gotta wait for the deliveries to take place. There goes those tanker trucks. I'm gonna need some volunteers to keep a secret. Do a passenger airline between the two cities. If we get to a thousand likes, I'll build airplanes right now. If everybody watching smashes that like button, I will build myself a airport for you. We'll build two airlines between Fort McMurray and Edmonton. We'll start a passenger air service. What's this uh, secret road over here? No, it's not. There's nothing. There's not a secret road there. No. I, all I see is a forest. No, I don't. I don't see any road. Not at all. Not at all, Chad. I just. I just see. I just see a giant. No, I just see a giant forest. 
Uh, it's that that there is just Forrest Whitaker. That's just Forrest Gump. Yep. Nope. Nothing to nothing to see here, folks. Keep on moving. Yep. Totally just a normal normal Canadian forest. Yep. All normal. Everyday, regular old forest. Uh, no, Canada does have their own Area 51. It, they call it the same thing. The United States has Area 51, and Canada has, uh, well, they, they differentiate it with a letter. It, for Canada, it's Area 51. A. Hey. Thank you. I'll be here all week. Appreciate the support. There we go. Yep, just a regular old forest. Good. Good. Very good. Yeah, Area 51A. Oh, there we go. There's our secret drivers. Okay, it'll just take a couple of trips. Oh, look, they're even... Wow, they even turn on their indicators. Look at that. Even the game knows to turn on their blinker before they exit. Isn't that awesome? Wow. Totally not jaded or anything. I bet these uh, drivers also bring their cart back to the cart corral that they were able to take and walk around the store, but seemingly don't have the energy to bring it an additional 10 feet to the cart corral. They walk 60 kilometers around the Costco, but impossible to bring it the 14 steps over to the cart corral, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Where's that other truck? Yeah, we're just gonna secretly dump it in the lake over here. No, oh, we're also still delivering Can I more get a parts. Shout out? Be sure to click or tap subscribe or become a member today. Oh man, intersections ruin everything. Well, this map's all about managing traffic, though. What is the point of this game? Uh, ballpoint. Okay, it's two of the trucks are delivering. There's another 11 here. I need, a, I need another driver. I'm going to hire another driver. For my totally legal, not a crime line. There we go. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, wow, they're bringing in a lot of machine parts. Look at that. 40, 40 machine trucks, uh, 40 machine parts being brought in by the trucks. Nice. Okay. They're almost there. Let's we'll speed this process up a little bit. Yeah, we can build an... It, seemingly, we can build an airport. I just got to get a uh, chat to vote on it. We need 1,000 votes from uh, chat Congress in order to approve the uh, construction of the international... And by international, I mean shortly domestic uh, flight... Airports. We could probably build uh, international airports, though. Just have only local flights. This game's available on Steam. It's actually on discount right now. For, uh... Like 20 25 dollars $35, somewhere in there. It's actually pretty good. Bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-
All right. 12 out of 60. We're, we're getting close. Man, I, I think our train line is making a lot of money. Let's check back. Where's the... Um... Oh, wow. There's a lot of stuff here. We m actually might have to buy a second train. Oh, yeah, already. Look at that. Oh, wow, this train's just hauling bread. All right, we better buy a second train. Let's just duplicate the train. Nice. Things are going busy now. I think the game's smart enough to put that train on the second track. Oh, actually, no, it might not be. Hold on. I wonder if that train will be smart enough. Nope. Um... Wait. Yeah, that should work. Now we'll see what happens. I don't know if vehicles can crash in this game. I don't know. I can't remember. Oh my god, this YouTuber needs to go to jail. Cops are on the way, guys. Don't worry. No path. Um... Well, I guess we could set it back on a different train line. Let's just run two for the time being. Yeah, a crossover should work. I mean, we only, we're only probably going to have two trains, so they can just be on their own line. I guess I made that one too long. Bum, 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 bum. Wastewater is almost disposed of. We're getting there. You know, actually, um, there is a really cool mission from the first game, I remember, where you build the channel. That's pretty awesome. And the Grand Canal. I hope they do that again. Yeah, let's try that one more time. Okay, no path still. Oh. Against all expectations, oil prices are falling below the break-even point. In light of the momentary market situation, extracting oil from tar sands is simply too expensive. It would probably be wise to bet on a different horse. Good decision. Your company will continue to remain one of the biggest employers in the region. Except that in future, it will be focusing on other fields of business. Oh, we can switch to the terminals. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, wait a minute. Let's focus on the mission for a second. Uh, produce goods from plastic and invest... Oh, yeah, okay. So, no matter what, oil's not working out, so we gotta make a switch. So now we gotta invest again. Produce goods from plastic, which we're already doing. Or no. Uh-oh. Now we gotta change up our... Uh-oh. All right, hold on. Now we got to change things. 
So before we were delivering oil for goods, now we can't do that anymore. So now oil's got to be delivered to the plastic line. So oil for goods has to now make a stop and switch here. Then we need a goods line. Now we need something to transport goods. Let's change the machine shop. Machine delivery line is going to change. And it's now going to start delivering plastics to the goods line. How many trucks are on that line? Three? Okay, we're going to have to buy... Let's buy three more. Well, let's go for... Oh, wait, we can just duplicate. Wait, mass clone? Oh, there we go. Okay, that'll work. Bum, 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 bum. Yep, so now we just gotta trade... Um, well, now plastics have to be delivered instead. So oil's going here, plastics going here, and goods are already being shipped back to the train line. Now, speaking of the trains, let's get this sorted out. Do I actually have to do signals in this game for them to actually be smart enough to use them? Oh, yeah, I, I, that's probably it. Well, let's do this. We didn't really finish up the train line. Is there an auto way to do this? Maybe that'll do it. Uh, train two, status report, no path. Okay. But also train one don't don't have a place to go now. However, the signal should fix that. Super simple, but we only need two trains. So I don't really want to invest a billion dollars in it. Okay, so I want a signal here. There. I think we need to do the same at the other side. Should be able to go that way. Yeah, one's supposed to tell the other, but one one train's already... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I just wanted to delete the signal. Oops. That's a lot of damage. Okay, that should fix that. Uh, where's that train? Ideally, they should just run back and forth on their same track. We only need two. I mean, it's not like, you know, we're trying to complete the mission, not investing in Canada's future or anything. That's why you got to invest in your own future by smashing that uh, subscribe button. Because the future of this channel is going to be big. Big, big. Big stuff coming. All right, I'm going to send this train back. You go back to the depot, young man, and think about what you did. Bomb, bomb. Uh... 
There we go. Cool. Big O train wreck. Uh, I don't know if there's train wrecks in this game, but we'll see shortly. All right, so now we got to make uh, goods out of plastic, so we're just going to wait for that first delivery to be complete. Wow, we went from 200 million down to 46 million. How, how are we actually even making money? I guess we are making some money. There we go. Train is back. And this train should be able to leave once it's full. Wow, it didn't even look full. Okay, what's our food train doing? Wait, where'd the train go? Train 2, go ahead. Yeah, I'm all out of drinks now. No more sip. But soon, we'll get some more. Okay, let's set train 2 now. Yeah, we just need these two running back and forth. Nothing complicated. Since we're not going full trains yet. Planted too many tra trees? Yeah, I think I broke it. Pla I, I reforested too much. Canada now, now has more trees than when they started. Well, well. Alright, so this one should be able to go to there and get started. I think that should work now. The bull train should be bringing back uh, food and goods. Now we just need to make goods out of oil. Alright, let's speed things up here, make sure it's working. Wow, look at all those goods. Holy crap. That local community truck can hold 30, so... Oh, there we go. ...set an example as a sign of its realignment. In the future, it will refrain from using fossil fuels within the framework of the local transportation services provided. Deploy only streetcars in the local transit system. Oh, you're telling me I gotta get rid of buses now? Bruh. Uh, let's see. Where could we build a streetcar line? Oh, let's build one in Ed Nah, let's build one in our our neck of the woods over here. Okay, so now we gotta build a streetcar line. Can we upgrade the depot to be a streetcar line too? Eh, uh, let's let's build a new line over here. We haven't get give give did Edmonton some love yet. Let's build a tram. We go rip up the main road and rebuild it. Let me put down a tram line. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So now we should be able to upgrade the road for trams. Con Gaming, thanks for becoming a Raptor Egg. Welcome aboard. Remember to jump on the uh, Discord for tonight's giveaway. How do I build uh, tram tracks? Oh, there we go. Tram track tool. All right, we'll bring it down Main Street. Cool. Let's build some tram stations.
That'll do. All right. Well, Con Gaming, you are now our wonderful little tram driver. Let's get you on the Skoda 10T. And let's make a line for you. We should be able to connect here. Beautiful. Good old fashioned tram. Now let's get that tram rolling. Well, there we go. We have a tram. Now we have to deploy only. Yeah, I'm all out of drink, so I won't be able to take a sip anymore. I, w I would be faking it at this point. Okay, so let's see. We have uh, deploy only streetcars in the local transit system. So I think we need to bring the buses back. So let's do that. Yes, you can use the code Raptoria. R-A-P-T-O-R-I-A for every game that you buy on the Epic Game Store. If you'd like to support the channel that way through the Support a Creator program. Alright boys, we're ending the bus lines. So let's send them back to uh, Science Lines going back. And the uh, the Fort McMurray bus lines getting shut down. We'll send the buses back to Depot and see how that works. Glory to Raptoria, you are my favorite streamer. Thank you very much, public, for your support. Appreciate it. Okay. I don't think we have any other transit systems, do we? Nothing else is passenger-related except for the tram. Wow, look at how long it's taken just to, like, beat this one mission. We're, like, four hours into the stream. Like, wow. So, four, if every mission is, like, two or four hours, it's, like, 18 times two, plus all the extra mods and stuff. It's, like, endless. Yeah, I think the buses... I think they just need to go back to the stations. I don't think, uh... I don't know if we have to sell them. All right, buses are RTB. Oh, we have a new uh, tram available. Now yeah, we'll go with the one we have. Okay. Yeah, we can rename every tr uh, uh, every stop, every bus we can rename. Okay, we could redo this with trams if we want to. Well, let's just... Is there a way to turn a line off but not delete it? I don't know if there's a way to deactivate a line. I guess we could just sell all the, the buses for now. Yeah, they are kind of old. They've been working for quite some time. Okay, let's go back to the buses. All right, all buses. We'll just sell them. They're, they are kind of old, to be honest, so let's get rid of them. another bus around here somewhere. And then I think I'll just turn these lines off. I think the game wants us just to delete the line, but we'll make sure. Sometimes it can be a little... You're not sure sometimes. Okay, let's delete the line. Oh, there it is. And main bus line. There we go. 
Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, let's do another tram. I think we might need a tram in the uh, town, too. Well, looks like there's a few people waiting at the tram line, so... We'll get another tram going. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, the... Now it says de deploy streetcars in the local line. I think that might be Edmonton that we have to do too. All right, sorry, M Fort McMurray. So let's do that. Let's upgrade these roads. We'll build a tram somewhere nearby. Actually, we'll build a tram depot over here. Uh, the bus stops can double as a tram stop if you build a tram line out in front. So let's convert these to trams. Remember, welcome. Uh, Beatles Rock. Thanks for becoming a Raptor Egg as well. Appreciate the support. Um, hmm. Running out of places to put things. Without looking a little too uh, hectic. There we go. Yeah, we have a full... Uh, we have a full thing on the channel of every mission in the game being played. So if you want to see every mission without having to watch for four or five hours, make sure you go and check the channel for the full playthrough of every mission. I'm just coming back to it after a year, and I'm happy to be here. All right, let's upgrade everything to a tram level. So what would be our route? Nope. Oh, you can build routes with bus lanes. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, luckily this one doesn't really rely too much on buses. We'll have to remember that in the future that we can do bus lines. Okay, hopefully that connects everything. I see an intersection here that is red, but I see the tram lines there, so that probably will work. Bum, 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 bum. Let's see. Oh, we also have to upgrade the depot, too. Oh, no, 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 we just used this depot. All right, let's buy some of those new trams. Wow, almost a million dollars for the big old new tram. We're gonna have a lot of people coming to the oil industry still. So, let's go for a new line, and we'll have it stop here first, and then we'll have it go in reverse, I guess. Hopefully that works. Okay, let's put the trams on that one. We're almost there. Almost done, everybody. End of the road, finally. Tram three and four can be sent to line one. And they should be coming out of the station now. Yep, there they go. Dennis is saying you need to buy three per line. Uh, let's see. It says deploy only streetcars in the local transit system. Well, if we need to buy a third... compliance with oh, I guess not. due diligence obligations and industry standards, something seems to be wrong with the wastewater basins. Uh -oh. Try to mitigate the damage and seal the basins as quickly as possible. Hold on. Oh, we need to bring construction materials up here. Well, we could do, do that via train, but this could be a good job for the trucks. There's already a line going there. All right, let's make a 
We're going to make a separate line for this. This is an emergency line. We, we got an emergency, boys. I need emergency drivers. Oh, boy. Okay, let's build the emergency thing here. We need to seal those basins right away. In the course of ecological mitigation measures, your company has settled countless wild animals in the region. What a shame that hardly anyone was aware of it. Oh, uh, wait, I need to make the, the local line. What? What do you want? The visitors are delighted by the biodiversity, which only found its way into the area in the first place thanks to mining the tar sands for oil. Okay, we have an emergency operation. We need to convert the uh, crux bringing machine parts there. Machine delivery line can be diverted. Let's shut that line down. Okay, these trucks are diverting to the emergency line. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, where's the emergency there? Alright, good. Construction materials are being supplied very slowly, but we'll get them done. You got bullied at school? Well, that's right. Don't worry, we don't we don't really have too many bullies here. Every once in a while I'll pick on chat and they'll pick on me, but it's all lighthearted. What's up, albino polar bear? Good to see you in chat. Look at that, you got yourself a blue eye. You've been a long, long time supporter. That is crazy. Chat getting close to 1,000 likes. That is amazing. If you haven't smashed that like button, now's a good time. We're going to try to build an airport. If you want to see it, smash that like button to vote to see more. Is the second train still in the depot? Oh, yeah, good question. There's no warning, so it must be doing its thing. Let's see. The trains are kind of important, but like not, not our main thing at the moment. Let's check on them, though. How do I sort by train? Oh, there they are. Train one. Train two. Oh, they're just fine. One's a coming and one's a going. Ooh, we're, we're negative money now, boys. Ooh. We've been building stuff like crazy. Hopefully we don't have to do any more uh, buying stuff. But oil apparently is a dying business. I think we got to shut down the native people line. It's not bringing in enough money. Let's get rid of the... Uh, tell that truck to go back to the depot. We'll go ahead and sell that truck. And we'll shut down that line. Because all those goods need to go elsewhere. We gotta get the, the goods going back to the fort. Alright, 60 construction materials need to be loaded up. You didn't know that we play uh, Transport Fever 2? Oh, there's a whole playthrough on the channel. As well as many other live streams from last year when it came out. It's a good game. I would highly recommend. Oh, look at that. That's a lot of oil there. Whew. Does this place have a lot of oil? Oh, wait. They need plastics. That's going to take a little while to get here. Bomb, 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 bomb. I guess some of these missions aren't really about making money. Some of the times they're just about, like, doing, doing things to... Just to, like simulate an something that happened in history like an economy or like an oil boom or whatnot. Okay, we gotta get more goods over here. Looks like some are being dropped off. Yeah, we're gonna make some money from construction materials now. Let's speed things up. Let's get this done, boys. All right. 
Oh yeah, perfect. Trucks are coming in with supplies. Okay, we're almost there. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, hold on a second. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. Bum, bum, bum. Wait a minute, what? Oh, earnings are negative. Never mind, we still have 43 million. I was looking at the earnings. I was thinking, whoa, did we just burn through 40 million? Yeah, I'm, uh, the reason you can't see my arms is I'm playing the banjo on the side. Uh, what a find. Uh, okay. Nope. Such vanity. Okay. This one must be glitch, but we, we did do it. We planted the tree, so that's good. Alright, we just gotta wait for those supply, uh, construction supplies to arrive. Bom, 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 bom. Is your Amazon order in this truck? Yeah, if you ordered uh, a giant pallet of bricks. Wow, that truck could take a heck of a lot of pallets. That should be everything. All right. I think this might be our last mission. Or uh, objective in this. Ah, no wonder the Canadians are going so slow. They're using, like, outdated steam bucket technology. Nah, that's your problem right there. That's why you sprung a leak. Burn down, burn down. Hey chat, did you know that I have a secret video that's about to go live after this live stream? It's a new survival game where you can play as a bear, a wolf, or a person. And I got it ready to go on the channel. Do you guys want to see it? One in chat if you're uh, kind of curious to see my super secret, totally hidden video that'll come out soon. All right, there goes the trucks full of supply. I think that's job done, boys. Just need those trucks to arrive. Takes a little bit to count all the supply. Hello, f greetings from San Diego. What's up? Uh, how you doing? How are things? Okay, we're at 32 out of 60. We're almost there. Just need those uh, more full semi-trucks to get here. Gotta limit... We gotta limit the damage, because apparently that's a lot of... Damage. That's a lot of damage. It is, and we're going to need bricks to repair that. Damage. And it's quite a bit of damage. No, that's a lot of damage. Absolutely. Bum, 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 bum. All right, last call for new members, by the way. We'll have a giveaway tonight on the Discord. So if you haven't already uh, become a member, now is a great time to smash that join button. Hop on the Discord. And follow me on Twitter for free giveaways and stuff all the time. I'm trying to get to 7,000 new followers on Twitter. I'm pretty close to that, so thanks for uh, helping me grow on Twitter, too. It's kind of cool to, like, chat with game devs and stuff there, too. Uh, thank you, Jay, for the five. Loved your Anno series. Happy New Year. Thank you for watching. We'll do some more Anno whenever there's some more DLCs to it as well. All right, five more bricks, chat. Five. We just need five more bricks. Oh, no, four. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait. Base and sealed. Come on, baby. Yay! All worked out again after all. You did everything. Yes! Correctly. The catastrophe <laughs> isn't going to happen. The Canadian economy is growing like never before. And you share the responsibility for that. We did it, chap. We got him, baby.
Absolutely. Between the present and the future. The metropolis of okay. Shanghai is growing and growing and growing. The challenges associated with this are manifold, just like the potential problem-solving approaches. An urban paradise could soon thrive here, or a nightmare come true. Its fate remains uncertain. But one thing is certain. A lot depends on future transportation planning. Off to a journey into the world of tomorrow. Okay, so this last mission allows us to choose between planes or trains. We could build high-speed trains in China or planes, but... No, that's I a lot of damage! I think we'll do that sometime in the future, because there's certainly a lot more to do. Uh, we can go back to, like, uh, West Germany. We can go to... Uh, Florida and do some like uh, illegal cargo transporting we could do uh, some building in Hungary and we can build the Japanese Shinkansen the new century or we can go to China in like the 50s and build the hydroelectric dam for the, the People's Republic of China great revolution. that'd be kind of interesting alright guys I want to come back and play some more Transport Fever 2 if you want to see more on the channel make sure you click or tap that subscribe button I am going to work on releasing a video here in just a second and I would love to see you guys watch that video so let me just see if I can release it real quick it was kind of a problem with YouTube they weren't able to uh, fix that so let me just see if I can get things set here for let's see here let's see if we can release this video for y'all let's see if it's ready to go stand by chap I got a secret for you oh it's ready to go okay you guys are you guys are gonna be the first to see this video so I need everyone to spam ones when this new video comes out, I'm going to drop a link for you. Get ready. Get excited. It's coming. Here we go. All right. Ready? Yep, we're, drop yep, we're dropping a new video live. Hold on. Stand by. All right. You guys are going to be the first ones to go here to this new video. I'm going to spam it. Here we go. Spam those ones in the comment section on the new video I'm linking right now. Here it comes. All right, go, 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 go. Follow the link in the chat and spam that number one. There's the link to the video. It should be working. Let's see if that works. All right, you guys should be the first to see it. Do you see it? Spam those ones on the video. Follow that link to the new video. And you can watch that new video on the channel with the link. And spam ones on that video in the comment section. Go, go, go. You guys will be the first ones to see a new survival game that just came out on the channel. Wilderness. Interesting. All right. Well, that's going to be my time for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for being here. I hope you enjoy my new video, and I'll see you soon for more. Transport Fever 2 is a lot of fun, available now on Steam. On a discounted price, by the way. Highly recommended. Overwhelmingly recommended by me. Lots of fun, lots to do. Lots of challenge, lots of time invested. I'll see you guys next time. Tomorrow, maybe, for more Transport Fever 2. Have a good afternoon, good evening, good night, folks. Thanks for all the new members. Thanks for all the big O super chats. And don't forget to join the Discord for game giveaways. We'll see you guys soon. Goodbye, everybody.